So welcome, guys. I'm Christine Morel. If you don't know me, I'm going to give you guys a little introduction of, of a little bit about some of the stuff that I've done, and then we're going to get into something really cool. We're going to be talking about how I've gotten 3,000 followers a month on Instagram, you know, organically, you know, no bots. I didn't buy these. You know, these are real followers. These are people that are wanting to listen to my music. These are people that are choosing follow. You know, they're not getting paid to follow me. And also without like a hit song, um, without using some strategy with hashtags, um, without posting, you know, I, I think there's a lot of people that, you know, you got to post every day and that's all great. That's all really good. Um, but we're not going to, we're not going to cover that. We're going to cover something that maybe some of you guys have heard about, but if you don't do it in the right way, it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff because I've never seen anybody teach it in this way. And this is why it's so effective. And actually I got a, a video I'll post it up later. Someone just sent me a testimonial because they went from 30 followers to a thousand followers in one month, just like that. 30 to a thousand uh, hip hop artist. And he sent me a video and was like, I used your method because I've done a YouTube video like on a piece of it. I didn't even cover all of it. He just took a piece of what I mentioned. And he's like, I applied it and I have a thousand fans now. So imagine going from 30 to a thousand fans all of a sudden in one month. That's a big jump, right? Uh, without spending any money, you know, without doing any of that kind of stuff. So uh, pretty cool. Steven, it's your first time here. We got Isabella from Northern California. Uh, we got so many cool, oh, there we got so many cool people in here. So we are going to get started for again for those of you who know me i have a few of my my members i have a really great uh weekly group that i meet with every week uh called music hustler live and i'm going to be talking to you guys about that a little later some of you guys are here today so these first like 10 minutes you've probably already seen this but for those of you that don't know me i'm going to share a little bit about my story and um kind of hopefully get you guys excited because i have lots lots and stuff lots of stuff to share with you so let's um Let's see if you guys can see this okay. Let's see from the beginning. Are you guys able to see my my little cute little slideshow that I got? Uh, Caleb, yes, it will be. I'll send out a I'll send out a replay um, if if uh, for you guys too, so you can take notes. And by the way, uh, for all my um, music hustler, you guys can't see it. Okay, I know what it is. Hold on one second. Okay, now can you guys see it? You should be able to see it now. Yes, okay, perfect. Everyone says yes. All right, cool. True, got my sister in here. Awesome, perfect. All right, so let's get let's get to it. Are you guys excited? Are you guys ready for this? Because I'm really excited. And I can't wait because I want you guys to apply this like right away. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff today. You can work on this like as soon as we get off this webinar, you can go to work like right away. It's not like some big crazy method. It's pretty simple um, and you guys are gonna be able to do this. So, um, all right, Derek says, I'm excited. We got Aaron and Danny, we got all kinds of people in the room. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about today how I get 3000 organic followers on Instagram a month without bots, without posting every day, without running ads, without a hit song, without any of those things that people tell you that you need. Um, and um, if you guys have been on any of my other webinars, you know, we've, we, I've taught how to get into media, I've taught how to book shows, I've taught a lot of different things, um, a lot of different subjects. Um, so as we go through today's presentation here, uh, feel free to ask any questions um, about what I'm, I'm going over, right? If you don't understand it, I want to help you guys understand it. That's my whole purpose here today, okay? I want you guys to leave going, I got something really great out of this, and now I know how to go get organic followers, okay? So don't be afraid to ask any questions um, as we go through this because I want you to gain something from this. I, I enjoy it, okay? I really, really love doing this with you guys. So uh, Arnaud says you're gonna send me chocolate for Easter. Okay, I love chocolate, I'll take it. All right, so I'm gonna give you just a quick introduction. So my name is Christine, I live in Las Vegas. I am an independent artist. I don't, I'm not signed to a record label. I don't have a manager, I don't have anything um, like that. Um, never had some like big humongous hit song. I've never had anything like that. I have like hardly any listeners on Spotify. I don't have anything like that. Um, but I've made a really great living as a musician. And in fact, I've made more than six figures I made into six figures as a musician, as an independent. Again, I still don't even have a manager. 
And I've been able to do that. And I've been able to travel the world. I've traveled five or six continents around the world doing what I love. I don't have to have a job that I hate. Um, I don't have a boss. Uh, I choose when and where I perform, what kind of music I make. I don't have anybody telling me what I should or shouldn't do. So I kind of have a really cool life. And a lot of you guys here are probably in that same position, you know, is you're probably going, man, I would love to, to um, make music and that's it. I don't want to attempt to job. I don't want to work at Starbucks. I don't want to be a waitress. I don't, you know, I've even worked with attorneys and, you know, accountants and all kinds of people. Um, and a lot of people don't like their job. And so um, I try to help artists to get to that place. And today we're going to be talking about social media because social media can absolutely help and assist you. It's not the end all be all, but man, it does help when you have fans and followers who support your music. So I'm going to go over just a quick couple of things really quick. Um, so this was me. I've been on a bunch of different networks. I've been on a, a Kiss FM, NBC, Casa Fox, uh, Power 106. I've been on Fox like seven times. Um, I've been on a lot of major networks talking about um, how to, you know, my own music career and then also, um, you know, helping other artists as, as well. Now today, if you stay till the end, I have one cool thing on all my webinars. If you've been here, I always give away something really cool. I give away a free annual membership to my program called Music Hustler Live, where I meet with artists once a week, right? And I'm going to give it away to one person. If you stay till the end, uh, someone's going to get a free annual membership to work with me once a week. And I cover all kinds of stuff. I cover all those topics on how I built my career and how I've done it, um, again, without a record label, without a manager, or without any of those things everybody tells you that you have to have. All right. So real quick, here's some cool things that I've done. Um, I've been on a lot of different networks. This was, I mentioned a little earlier that I've performed in front of 17,000 people. I've been in the Huffington Post and, and again, Fox, NBC, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I've gotten to have some really cool experiences. Uh, red carpet events are always super fun for me. Um, I've been included on Yahoo News multiple times. Um, this was me on the front page of Yahoo and I was playing the piano. It was a song that I wrote. It got like 300,000 plays within two weeks. You know, and that was, I didn't spend any money. I didn't do anything. It just made the front page. It was a song that I wrote, which was super awesome. Uh, Yahoo just decided it was a cool song and they put it on there, uh, which was really awesome. Um, I've gotten to perform really cool things like LA Dodgers games. I've gotten to do national anthem for a lot of uh, major, you know, like baseball and, and basketball and football and all kinds of cool uh, sports here. And then I've gotten to perform at a bunch of cool uh, events. I do uh, the NFL event. Um, Pre-COVID, I was doing it every single year. You know, everything's finally getting back to normal. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll be back to this. But I've gotten to meet, you know, Russell Wilson and I just a lot of really cool athletes and, and, and celebrities and got to entertain for all kinds of different people, uh, which is really cool. Um, this is me at Power 106 uh, talking about my music. Um, I've toured around the country. I've done 25-city tour that I set up myself, um, which I've gotten to do. Again, I'm just an advocate for everyone tells you you have to do it a certain way, and I'm going to hear it to tell you guys you don't have to do anything a certain way. Everything can be done. You can do it all on your own, and I'm living, breathing proof of that. Um, this is me at KISS 97.3. These are like big radio stations and TV stations that people tell you, you know, you have to have record label for, you have to pay a lot of money for. I didn't pay a single dime to get on any of these stations. Um, these are just all some cool things that I've done. Um, I, before COVID and before I had my son, I was doing about 300 shows a year uh, all over the world. This was one of those shows that I did um, with Frankie Moreno, uh, which is one of my friends. He has 34 number one billboard records in the world. Um, only people that have beat him are Madonna and Toby Keith. He is number three in the world or number one records, another independent artist who's just fantastic, really, really fantastic. So, um, and then these are just a few other things that I've, you know, done, stopped, done some radio tours, done TV tours, done magazines, been in newspapers, done had a bunch of cool experiences. Uh, again, as an independent, I didn't pay for any of these things. They wanted me on there. And that's what I like to, I like to show people. I've actually done a webinar where I showed everybody how to get on media, but um, it, it any type of social media following that you have, it helps to bring exposure. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, because the more exposure that you can have, you know, have more people listening to your music, more people knowing who you are, what you're about, 
um, the better. There's more opportunities to, to be successful, to book shows, to sell music. It helps with everything that you're doing, okay? And I've gotten to travel the world as well because of music as well. This was me in Rome. This was me with kangaroos in Australia and Machu Picchu and Peru and the Grand Canyon. Um, down there, the waterfall, that's, I was on tour through the French Polynesian Islands in Tahiti. Um, I've gotten to ride elephants in Thailand. That was outside of Bangkok, which was really, really cool. Uh, so I've got to do some cool things. And then this was one of my most amazing experiences that I've had. Uh, I was uh, headlining along with all of these other amazing R&B artists that I love. Like I'm talking Jagged Edge, Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, uh, Mario, Brian McKnight, you know, uh, one, you like a dream come true. Love him, love him, such a fan. And uh, I was the only independent artist on the uh, roster. And this was the auditorium before it started. It was sold out, 20,000 people. Uh, I've gotten to perform in big arenas like this. And then I've performed in lots of lounges and restaurants and bars and that sort of thing as well. So I've done a number of things. Uh, that was me on stage as well, I'm reading your, uh, Nathaniel said, do I have an OnlyFans page? I have never been asked that. No, I do not have an OnlyFans page. <laughs> um, and then we got STVG says, awesome, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. So, um, you know, these were some of the artists that I uh, uh, performed with once again. So that kind of gives you a background. Um, I think that what's important is today I share this with you because everything I'm going to be talking to you guys about today, um, I only teach what I know, okay? I only teach what I've been through, what I've experienced, and what I've accomplished. And like I told you guys, I have an independent career. I've traveled the world. I've made six figures as an artist. Because I know that world very well, I like to teach it. I like to show other artists how to do it as well. Um, so I share all this because I want you guys to know that I'm only sharing from experience, that I'm not one of those people that are on YouTube that are telling you guys how to do something but have never done it myself, right? We have a lot of those gurus that say, this is how you do it. This is how you build a career. And you look them up and they haven't even done it themselves, right? So today as I, I share any, as I answer any of your questions, as I go into any type of things with you today, um, it is because I'm sharing from experience. So. Uh, let me see what, uh, see if you guys have any questions. So just checking it out. All right, you guys are good. So I started out, that's me. I don't know if you guys have, even the ones that have been to my webinar before, I don't know if you guys have seen this photo because I just recently started showing it, I think, on my last uh, well, Oh, Alex, you're here. Alex, awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Alex um, is in the chat box. Um, he said I went from 30 followers to over a thousand followers um, with my method. Thank you for coming, Alex. So I actually have some updated methods to, um, today that you're gonna see. I'm actually glad that you're here. Um, Vinever, awesome, you're here too. Yeah, you said no, you haven't. So that's an actual picture of me. I was 10 years old there. Isn't that hilarious? I thought that my glasses were really cool and I thought it was cool to wear socks and like fold them over. Like I really, I really thought I looked cool. That's, I think that's the funny thing about, about this um, is I, I really felt like when I walked in a room that I was like super cute and stuff. But um, I started out, <laughs> Lyrical says pink socks were cool. We got Bella, hey Bella, thanks for joining today. Um, and this is where I started and there's, you know, a lot of us here are like, either starting from nothing or starting from scratch, or maybe some of us have been in the game for a while, or maybe some of you guys are already, you know, making a great living and you were just kind of curious as to what I was going to talk about today. Um, but, you know, this is a, this is, this is where it all started and I've built my life from nothing. You know, I grew up in a small town in New Mexico. There's 8,000 people there. I, um, I, uh, I raised a pig. I worked in a tortilla factory, I mowed lawns, I sold chocolate going door to door. I used to go to the dollar store and I convinced the dollar store to give me candles for 50 cents. So I would go spend like 30, 40 bucks on candles and then I would walk around with like a bag of candles and I would knock on, not knock on doors, but I would go from business to business um, selling these candles and selling burritos at businesses. Um, I also did sell my music going door to door um, where 
I would actually just kind of drive down the street and I would pick a street and I would park I'd pull out my electric scooter and I would go sell my music door to door. So I've done everything from promoting my music on the streets to promoting myself online. I used to buy, you know, fest, uh, used to buy like booths at fairs and festivals. And I would, uh, everybody that walked by, I would ask them to buy my music. I would stand there with my CDs and I had like a CD player at the time and I would blast my music and I would be like, oh man, I'm an independent artist. Come check out my stuff. And you know, would you like to buy a CD? And, you know, the majority of people would say no, but occasionally people said yes. And all I needed was that little yes, right? And I think as musicians, you know, you think about if just 1% of the world loved us, man, we'd have a very successful career. We don't need everybody to like us, right? Even though sometimes it hurts when nine out of 10 people, you know, tell us no, or, you know, we're sending out our music and maybe it's getting rejected over and over again. Or, you know, we're looking for a manager, nobody's managing us, or we're looking for producers and people are telling us no. Today's story is that you have to just keep going because I'm gonna show you this method on how I got these Instagram followers and that's what it is. It's a numbers game. Everything is a numbers game. Whether you're talking about booking shows, whether you're talking about trying to get signed to a record label or whether you're talking about trying to sell music to fans at a state fair, you know, like I was. The point is to keep going even when people no tell you no, because I always told myself, I remember I could knock on about uh, uh, 30 doors an hour. That was about what I could knock on. I had my little scooter and about nine out of 10 people told me no, but most people might look at this and get discouraged. They're going to go nine out of 10, but that's 90% failure rate. But the way I looked at it, I went, but one in 10 people are telling me yes, right? That's one in 10. And if I can knock on 30 doors in an hour, then that means three people are gonna tell me yes. Even though 27 people know, who cares? They tell me no. There's three people that are gonna tell me yes. And at the time I used to sell my CDs for 10 bucks. So I was making $30 an hour as like a 17 year old. So do you think I cared that everybody was telling me no? No, I wasn't. Cause I knew as long as I can get nine people to tell me no, one person's gonna tell me yes. And I always kept that mentality in my head. I always kept the mentality that it doesn't matter how many people are telling me no, I just need to figure out how many people do I got to tell me no before someone tells me yes. And that was how I built my career. Okay, cool. I just got to keep asking 10 people because then one person will say yes. That makes 30 people an hour. Three people will tell me yes. And I'm making 30 bucks an hour as a 17 year old kid. And that ain't bad. So that's kind of something that, uh, that, uh, uh, I, I like to share with you guys because as you're told no in any part of your music career, our whole point is to continue. Our whole point is that it's just one no closer to a yes, right? As long as we're making good music, as long as we're continuing to grow, it's just we're getting closer to that yes. Let me see. Um, Crystal says you pitched your song on Spotify using the lists. Awesome. And you made it on 12 playlists. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so Crystal got one of my lists of Spotify playlisters, and you went from nine listeners per month to 514. That's freaking awesome. Gosh, I gotta take a picture of that because I gotta share that. I love to hear these things because that's just a, makes me feel good, right? That feeds me too, because I'm here to try to help you guys. And if I know that I'm helping, then it makes me wanna continue. And so that's awesome. So you went from nine listeners to 514 a month and most of the curators said no, but you're right. The whole point was you just kept going, Crystal, and that was what, what worked out for you. Alex says, thank you for getting me published. You're appreciated. Absolutely, Alex. It's my pleasure. Um, let me see here. All right, here goes. All right, so we are going to get into it then. We're gonna go, are you guys, are you guys, do you guys have any questions by the way so far? I know we haven't covered anything too much yet, but just kind of wanted to give you a little background and kind of share, because I, I really do think that the music business, it's mostly ourselves that hold us back, right? And I've, I always talk about this, but we, we can be our own worst enemy. The rejection, people telling us no, or people telling us they don't like our music, or maybe I get tons of like hateful messages a day, okay, a day. I probably delete 10 to 20 comments a day of people just saying the most random stuff, and I don't even see everything, right? I, that's only the stuff that I see. So, um, but it's up to us that if we have a goal and if we have a dream, then we have to keep going. Because if not, what's gonna happen? You're just gonna stay right where you are. And we don't wanna be right where we are. At least if we keep going, even though we're gonna have some rejections, we're gonna have wins too, as long as we are persistent. So.
So um, Bella says, uh, will I upload this later? Yes, I will, Bella. I will. Absolutely. Um, all right, perfect. So we're going to talk about something. And Alex Holmes is here today because he used this method. He got anywhere from, he said, 30 to 1,000 followers. I think it was like in a month, right, Alex? Um, using this method, but this is an updated method now. I'm going to be teaching you guys something that's I've I've figured out even bigger ways to build. So we're going to talk about um, Caleb says my band got on an agency right before COVID, COVID using your list and strategy. Awesome, Caleb! Yay! We're going to make a better promo video this year. Hit even harder this year. Thank you, uh, and looking forward to more. Awesome. See, this is what I love. I love to hear that people are are using the stuff that I'm sharing. It makes me feel really good. Oh, Alex, you got them in a couple of days. Oh, wow. Okay, you got thirty to a thousand followers in a couple of days. All right. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get into it then. So, all right, guys, let's get into it. So, you may have heard of the follow unfollow method. Have you guys ever heard of this? Is there anyone in the room? Put a put yes or no on the chat box if you've heard of it. Andre says yes. Danny says yes. Arnaud says no. Got a good like 50 50. No, no, yes, yes. Crystal said you mentioned it last time, but I don't know what it is. Cool. Got a no's and use and a lot of yeses. All right, cool. So this is like the follow on follow method on steroids, okay? Because if you look up YouTube, <clears throat> what you're going to find is you're going to find a lot of people saying that this method doesn't work. Well, in a lot of cases, it doesn't because you can't just follow and unfollow people and expect it to work very well. OK, it's not going to work effectively. The concept uh, and I'll get into it a little later, but I, I wanted to bring this up because some of you may have heard it, but it's not going to be successful unless there's two things that you do before you do this. And that's why this is so important. And that's why I'm getting into this today. OK, so uh, Danny says you tried it before many years ago before you took your music seriously. Yeah, it's um, like I said, it you probably if you tried it, you probably didn't get like the results that you could have because there's some work that you got to do right before you do the follow and follow method. OK, and that's what we're going to get in today. So I kind of created this three step thing that I call the DFF method. OK, design, find and follow. This is a three step method um, that and this is how I got consistently 100 followers a day. So I was doing about 3000 followers a month. I did it for a whole year and I got my first 38,000 followers or something insane. Um, and I thought, wow, this is really cool. But I had figured out this one little like a couple things that I, you know, the two DFF. But before I followed people, I did these couple things. So some of you have never heard of this, have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm going to cover all of it. Now, as we go through this again, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Alex said you had heard about it, but you weren't using it to get fans until you showed me how. So some people use it just to get followers, but I'm going to show you guys how to get fans because this is what we don't want. We don't want just random people following us, okay? Because if they don't like our music, then they're not going to buy our music. They're not going to come to our shows. They're not going to support our crowdfunding campaigns. They're not going to stream our music. OK, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. We don't just want a million followers from from India who can't even, you know, maybe they don't even know the language and they don't um, like the music because they like something else. And they're only following you because they like the pictures that you post of your dog. Right. That doesn't help us because they're not listening to our music and we don't want to be putting time into trying to get followers from places where. And, and people that don't like our music anyway, that's not what we want. We need targeted followers. Targeted followers are people that like our style of music, right? And it doesn't matter what kind of music you make, okay? You're gonna be able to apply it no matter whether you do country, whether you do hip hop, whether you're a duo, whether you're a band, whether you're a solo artist, even if you're a producer, even if you're a songwriter, you're going to be able to apply this to your life. All right, so um, let's get into step one, okay? Let's get into step one, which is design. So what we have to do here, and by, by the way, guys, even if you just started your Instagram, if this is like your, you have like five followers, you're fine. I'm going to show you how to do this. Alex had 30 followers and he went from 30 to a thousand followers in just a few days. That's a pretty amazing accomplishment, don't you think? Um, so it doesn't matter if you have followers. I know a lot of people are like, you have to have a lot of followers or no one's going to follow you. It's not true. 
especially when you do it a certain way, okay? So design, first thing we have to do is we have to create an Instagram that people want to follow, okay? We could have everyone come to our Instagram, but if our Instagram's full of really terrible photos of, of the eggs that we ate for breakfast and just the pictures of the trees outside, no one's gonna even know that we're a musician. No one's gonna know what kind of music we create. No one's gonna know anything. So first, what we have to do is we have to design an Instagram that people want to follow. And we have to make it very clear who we are, what we do, so that we attract our, our types of fans, right? If someone thinks we're a country artist, but we're a hip hop artist, and they're following us because they like country, they're not gonna listen to our music. Again, they're not gonna buy tickets to our shows. They're not gonna support our crowdfunding. We need people who like us, not just quantity of followers. We need our quality followers. So the first thing that we have to do on our Instagram is we have to do design. That's our first step, right? We got design, find, and follow. Our first step is design. I just found these guys on uh, Instagram. I'd have never met them before. I just thought they did a really good job here, right? So your bio should say exactly who you are as an artist, right? Songwriter, indie folk band, rapper, you know, rapper and producer, anything like that. This group put um, Nashville-based hillbilly rock and honky tonk. You know, this is cool. Like, you know, they've described who they are, right? You know that they're not a hip hop group, right? You know exactly who they are based on their bio. Um, they put a nice little two rock for country, two country for rock. So you get it that it's like rock country style, right? They're saying what kind of music they are and they're saying that they're a band, right? So for you, you would say whether you're a solo artist, you're a singer, you're a songwriter, you're a rapper, you're a producer, whatever those things you are, you want it to be very clear who you are because you don't want to care about someone following you if they don't like your style of music anyway, right? You want people to follow you that like your style of uh, music so what you want to do next is we want to that bio that you notice right there that i have circled we can also note uh, any uh, notable accomplishments that you have right you might say you're a singing guitarist from nashville but maybe you've won an award right rising star award or a million streams on youtube and that's okay if you don't have any big awards that's okay you don't have to um, have anything like that but if you have them it's nice to put that there right it kind of grabs people's attention or Maybe you've put out five albums. Hey, just released five albums in the last five years. That's an accomplishment too. Or you can say that you're just starting out. Hey, I'm just starting out, you know, new, new, uh, new indie singer pursuing a career as a musician. That's exciting too, because you're gonna have a lot of people that love to support new talent. There's nothing wrong with being exactly who you are, where you are. You don't need to pretend to be anything bigger or better than you are. Who you are is enough. And we've talked about that so much in, in, in lots of my other webinars and that sort of thing. There's a lot of people that love for the underdog to win. So if you've never accomplished anything huge, it's okay. We just want to talk about who you are now, what you're doing, what your style of music is, whether you're a solo artist or whether you're a band. Uh, Alex, you said you also got an interview over the phone with the radio show in Cali this month. Thanks to you. Thanks. Gosh, Alex, man, you've just had so much success. That's very, very cool. I'm gonna have to like interview you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you up on Instagram and I'll, I'll have to do an interview with you because obviously you're applying all these things that I've been sharing. So I appreciate that. So this, that's what we want to do, right? We want that bio to um, be very, very clear on who we are. Then what we want to do is our first 12 posts, okay? Our first 12 posts. We want those to reflect who you are as an artist as well. Okay, so that means the moment someone goes to their Instagram, the first 12 posts that you have need to be reflective of who you are. So if you're a singer, you post videos of you singing. If you're a rapper, you need to post videos of you rapping. If you're a producer, you're behind the computer screen. If you're mixing, you're you're in a you're using your software programs to mix, you know. If and you can put, you know, uh, music videos. You know, there's lots of different things that you can put, but those first 12 posts if you're a singer and someone goes and to your Instagram and your first 12 posts are you with your dog, you with what you had for breakfast, you at the gym, you taking a selfie, you at a birthday party, they don't even know who you are. They just think you're a regular person and they don't know that you're a musician. They need to know exactly who you are, right? And so what we want to do is those things can, can exist in a lot of different, that content can be can range over a lot of different things, right? We have acapella performances, right? Maybe there's, you have some videos of you and it's okay if it's selfie style, this doesn't have to be professional. It doesn't have to be anything like that. Obviously the better that it looks, 
the, you know, that's a, a better chance that we have of representing ourselves, you know, but there's so much we can do with iPhones now, with smartphones, with filters, you know, with, uh, with different software programs that we can do and use to make look more professional, right? So we want things to look good, but don't worry if you don't have a budget to shoot like some big music videos or anything, it's okay. You just do your best, right? But here's some ideas for you. Acapella performances, right? That means you without any music, you just singing or rapping or maybe playing your instrument. That's another one. If you have live stage performances, so you performing should be on there. If you have live streams, you know, if you've ever done a live stream on Instagram, I did one the other day. And when I did it, um, it immediately asked if I wanted to post it to my Instagram right away. So I did. So I've done that a couple of times with my live streams where I've done like even sometimes 70 minutes of performing. And then I, I just put, yes, I want to post it and it'll post right to my Instagram, which is really cool. So um, I would suggest that uh, music videos, if you have them, um, if you've had lyric videos, that's a great one too. You know, lyric videos are awesome. Uh, behind the scenes, that can be photos, that can be videos. And guys, when I say videos a lot, it's because videos get a lot more engagement, right? Videos get a lot more, the algorithm of Instagram loves videos more, so they're more likely going to take your video and they're gonna put it in front of more people, okay? Because just because someone's your friend um, or just because someone's searching like a hashtag that maybe you've hashtagged one of your photos with, doesn't mean you're gonna show up. So, but videos, Instagram knows that most people will watch a video and interact with a video more than they do with a photo. So they like to show your content to more people because they're trying to create a better experience for all their Instagram followers, right? So they know that since most Instagram followers like videos, they're gonna show you partiality if you're posting videos. So that's something that we can do, right? Acapella performances, live stage performances, live streams, music videos, lyric videos, behind the scenes videos, photos in action, right? Shots from the studio. You know, maybe you're right behind a microphone recording. Album artwork, you have a singles, um, you know, a singles cover of your single or a cover of your album, right? You can post that. Uh, interviews, you know, maybe you've done some cool interviews. You wanna share that on there as well, some clips from that or photos from that. Uh, pics of articles that you were published in. A lot of you here today have, have, have bought some of my services where I get artists published in magazines and blogs. Take a screenshot of those blogs, take a screenshot of those articles and share that on your Instagram. Cause that makes it, you know, it shows that you're doing it. You're a musician and you're really taking this seriously. And they go, hey, well, if these websites are posting them, they must be good, let me check them out. You know, they're at least gonna give you a listen because you're, again, you're competing with all the other Instagram accounts on there. And if they don't find you interesting right away, they're just gonna go on to the next Instagram account. And we don't want that, we want them to follow you. We want them to like your stuff because the moment they follow you, they start to see more of your material. And now hopefully you've built a fan or a follower that's going to support you and your music that might buy tickets to your show, that might stream your music, that might want to collaborate with you, you know, by doing this, you might then get exposure and, and maybe you'll find a, a producer that you want to collaborate with, a songwriter, a manager, a record label, you know, the, the possibilities are really endless when you have that much exposure right? We also can post pics of any other accomplishments. You know, I, I saw last year at the end of the year, you know, everyone kind of gets that. If you have any of your music on Spotify, you get that whole like years, you know, uh, it shows you your accomplishments. You know, if you had like a hundred thousand streams on Spotify. So I saw everyone take their screenshot and put like, look, I had a hundred thousand streams this year. Something like that's great. It gives you credibility. It's like, you're showing off a trophy, you know, you're showing off a look at what I've done and then they're more likely to listen to your music, right? So um, what you wanna do here, and I'll just show you guys kind of what I've done on mine. So um, I have a little over 70,000 followers on my Instagram. Um, and so I've mixed it up. So as you can see here, you know, I have some professional photos. I have some, this is a clip from a music video. Here's me, I just set up my phone, you know, I'm playing piano with my son. It is very obvious that I play piano, right? Here's me, I'm singing here. You know, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm also, you know, I'm also a teacher, right? I teach music, uh, musicians how to um, do, you know, build independent music careers. So I have videos where I'm talking about that. Here's me being published, right? This is what I was talking to you about, you know, posting things that accomplishments, you know, here's me and my son playing piano again, me and the piano, me and the piano, right? That's who I am. I'm a singing pianist, you know? So here's me doing red carpet, 
right? Now I focus more on teaching and that sort of thing. So my bio is going to be more um, geared towards that. Ever since I became a mom, I don't perform anymore. I don't do anything like that. Um, but I still share those things that I've done both, right? So you can, you know that I'm a musician when you come here right away, music maker, you know, that's what I do. And I have my little, you know, piano emojis there. So that's what you're going to, um, you know, that's what you're, this is kind of just an example of what I've done. And I found some other kind of examples on, uh, online. And I found this girl, um, she actually follows me. I just found her on Instagram and she was awesome. I thought she was so good. Um, she's a singing pianist, you know, she put it up there, singer, songwriter, you know, member of the recording Academy, put her link to her music video. Right. And then you can tell right away, look, she's a singing pianist. That's what she does. You don't wonder what she does. Right. So anybody that comes to her profile, they know that that's what she, who she is. Um, another example, I found this guy, Mr. Alexander Starr, um, Emmy nominated recording artist, right? He's a recording artist. Now it doesn't matter if you're not Emmy nominated, you can just put your recording artist, hip hop recording artist, country recording artist, rock band, you know, recording group. Um, and then he has, it's obvious that he does music. Like here's him in front of Pro Tools. Here's him, um, you know, there's music videos, him playing piano. He has videos of him coaching other musicians and songwriters. So as you can see, we need our Instagram to look like this first, okay? This is the first step, all right? Um, another example, here's a duo that I found and they're awesome. They're like more of like an indie group. You know, they only have um, 3000 followers here, um, but they're, I thought this was a really good job. You know, they did a really good job with their Instagram. You know that they play guitar, you know that they sing, you know that they're a duo. It's very, very obvious what they do. So that's what, um, that's what we want to do first. Okay. That's our first step one. That's our design step. And um, if you don't have professional videos, again, shoot live performances at home. You can get your cell phone out experiment with filters and angles you know smartphones have really great quality you can ask a friend to take your photos there's a lot of great you know software programs out there that have filters and guys i'm going to tell you something um selfies and selfie videos really work out well especially if you make sure to get some good lighting and stuff like that they work really well like i do a lot of ads and i do a lot of things where i have like professional photographers and i will say my best uh things that get the most views and the most uh, watches are usually stuff that starts out with me and my phone, just doing this. So don't feel bad if that's what you have, that's actually gonna help you, okay? So that is step one. Does that make sense? Before we go on to step two, that is our design step. Does that make sense to you guys? Let me know in the chat if that makes sense. Danny says yes, Crystal says yes. If you have any questions about that, William says yes, love it. Elijah, hey Elijah. Yes, we got lyrical. Yes, Steven says clear catches. Okay, awesome. Just want to make sure. Okay, so that's our step one. And Mas Masood says, I love you. Thank you, Masood. I appreciate that. Um, uh, David, should we put hashtags in the intro? Um, you know, you can put hashtags if they help define who you are, right? Hashtag singer, hashtag R&B artist, hashtag pianist, hashtag producer. That's totally fine because it helps describe who you are, right? And it helps you uh, become more discoverable as well anyways. I'm not going to talk too much about hashtags today. Of course, hashtags can help. But the method I'm about to show you guys, uh, you don't even need hashtags. But yes, if you want to, put them in your bio. They do help. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Derek says you have a lot of food on your site. Hey, it's okay. There's nothing wrong like it with food. But make sure that you have videos and photos of you singing, photos and videos of you performing behind the scenes. It just has to be very clear that when someone looks at your page that you are an artist. It needs to be very, very clear, okay? All right, perfect. Okay, so step two, okay? Our first step was design. Our next step is find, okay? So this is what we're going to do. You have to find fans that like your style of music and the type of artist that you are. We don't just want random followers. I told you guys earlier, if someone is a country fan and you're a hip hop artist, there's no point in trying to get them to like you or follow you. They don't like your type of music. You're wasting your time. What we want to do, we want to find people that like our style of music because we want them to follow us. Again, those are going to be the ones that support our music careers, that follow us, that like us, that stream our music, that buy tickets to our shows, that do types of things. So we want fans and followers who will support our music endeavors. These are called targeted fans, okay? These are targeted, meaning 
we're, we've gotten, gotten, rid, gotten rid of all this umbrella, right? Imagine we're performing in front of, you know, all these people that don't like our style of music. It's a waste of time. You could be the best banjo player in the world, but if nobody likes banjo music, you've just wasted your time, right? You want to get in front of people that like your style of music. You want to find those targeted fans. So the first thing that we do is we make a list of artists like ourselves, right? The concept is that if we can get your music in front of those fans, and since they already like other similar music from similar artists, they are more likely to also like your music than if you were just in front of random people who aren't targeted fans, right? You can imagine if you're in front of 100 people that like country music, because you're a country artist, it's great, right? But you could be performing in front of 10,000 people that hate country music. Even though there's 10,000 people there, you're not going to gain anything. You're not going to gain anything at all of value. Those 100 people are more valuable to you than those 10,000. All right, so what we want to do first is we want to ask ourselves, what other artists are like you? So when I started this process, I thought, well, I'm a singing pianist. So for me, I chose John Legend and I chose Alicia Keys, right? If someone likes John Legend, there's a, probably a pretty good chance they're going to like me. If they like Alicia Keys, there's probably an even higher chance they're going to like me because I'm a female as well. I'm a female singing pianist. There's also like Vanessa Carlton. You know, there's lots of other female singing pianists that I could think of. And I'm going to make a list of those, right? And that's what you need to do. You need to start thinking, well, who's an artist like me? Am I like Wiz Khalifa? Am I like, you know, the Black Keys? Am I like Justin Bieber? Who am I like? Do I sound like Beyonce? Do I sound, you know, are you a gospel artist? Who is it? Write down those artists that are like you. Okay, because this is how we're going to find our perfect fans, right? You first start thinking about who is the most like you. Okay, so this is what I did. I went to uh, Alicia Keys and John Legend's Instagram. And what I did here was I looked at their followers, right? So I have 20.9 million followers. John Legend has 13.6 million followers. That means these are, between the two of them, that's like 33 million followers that would potentially, potentially like my music. That's a lot of followers, right? 33 million. And you found them now. And these are people that are more than likely going to like your music. Um, what is that artist? You know, I start I put in the chat box. Who's an artist like you? I want to see what you guys think. Like, name some artists that are like you. Put put in the chat box. You know, who's a, an artist or a band or a producer or a songwriter? All right, William says Pixies. James says Tank. Uh, Jason says U2. No, it's not too broad at all, Jason. We got Usher. We got The Main. We got Sia. We got Khalid, Ty Dolla Sign, Neo. Sam Cooke and Barry White, that's cool. Um, Masood says, your piano playing is amazing. Thank you, Masood. Uh, David says, John Mayer, I love John Mayer. We got J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Dex Daps. Uh, Jason said, what if I write music in a couple of genres? I mean, that's a good question. I'll cover that here in a second. We got Will Smith, Nat King Cole, Bieber, Eilish, Royal Blood, J. Cole, JVT, Jay-Z, Bad Bunny. Oh, I love Bad Bunny. Uh, 50 Cents. Christina, awesome. Fantagram, awesome. See, these are you guys know who you sound like. We got Tim Faust, Extinction. You guys know who you sound like. So you already know how easy it would be, right, to just write down those artists. Write down like probably like your top two, your top two or three, right? You can keep it real simple. Like Alicia Keys is probably the closest thing to myself, right? Because we're both a female, we're both ethnic, we both play the piano, we both sing, you know what I mean? Like that's the closest possible person. Then John Legend was like the second one. We got Eminem, Juice World, Alan Cohen, Mario. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we got some really cool, we got some, we got like such a diverse room here. This is so awesome. So as you write down these, Craig David, oh my God, I love Craig David. His voice, uh, Sunday, took it for a drink on Oh, is it Monday? Took it for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday. Oh my God, I love him. Seven days, Rob Franklin. Our nod, Baby Bash. Love Baby Bash. I actually just did a song with Baby Bash. It'll be out 
later this year. Uh, Alex says, Bizzle, Brian, Trejo, Hurt, Stan, you got, you got all your guys. So, and other Christian rappers, that's so awesome. So, and which is great for you, Alex, because if, if you're a Christian rapper, what's awesome is that it's, uh, it's even a smaller community, so you can find your fans even easier because it's so targeted. Uh, Vanever says, no doubt, oh my God. I love no doubt. Um, don't speak, I know just what you're feeling. One of the best songs ever made, undoubtedly. No doubt, undoubtedly. So, uh, Joanna says, Erica Badu, you've been told you sound like her. Hey, well, that's a good compliment. And that's what's cool about this. So, so you already know, you know, Kesha says you get compared to Sade. Awesome, love Sade. So because of this, we can do something. I mean, I guess we could call it like fan hacking pretty much, right? It's like we can hack their fans because this is the hard thing, right? For me, when I was out going door to door, I had no idea what people were going to like. If I knocked on their door, I hope that they like my style of music. The majority of them probably don't though. Right. When I was at those fairs and festivals, I told you guys I used to rent booths, you know, and I'd have my music there. I would talk to people over and over again. It's very hard trying to filter out what type of people are going to like my music. But imagine if at the time and Michael Walker, if you guys went to his uh, his um, webinar that we did together, he did this thing called tour hacking, right, where he would actually show up to the tours of bands that were like him. So imagine if I went to an Alicia Keys concert and walked around, you know, either selling my music or getting email addresses or, you know, just kind of networking. That would be really targeted people. I'm not having to go through, you know, random people at Walmart. I used to stand outside of Walmart and sell my music and wonder who liked my style of music. Instead, if you were at an Alicia Keys concert, you're talking to the fans there. You already know, right? I, for me as an artist, as a singing pianist, I already know they like my music. You know, those of you that, that uh, you know, said you sound like, uh, what were some of the ones, like Bieber. If you're at a just, if you sound like Bieber and you're at a Justin Bieber concert, then you already know they already like your music. So you're not having to filter and like ask and feel like you're begging everybody. Instead, you already know, and this is the point, right? If we go to these peoples, these artists that are like ourselves, if we go to their profile and we find, we can click on their fans right there. Just click on followers right there. I, I wish I could show you guys my screen here, but you guys probably already know this. But, you know, let's say I was going to um, John Legend's thing, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. You just click on followers, and there's all their followers, right? There. Those are all our fans, right? Which brings us to our next step. Our next step is the follow method, right? And this is where we get into where we're talking about following and following. And you guys are still sharing what types of artists you guys are like. We got Ray J, Kid Inc. SCBG says, I used to sell CDs, albums of my music in front of stores while I have been homeless and on these streets. I get it. That's what I was doing, bro. Like I was doing that too, going door to door. Slept in my car, did the whole starving artist thing. And it was tough, but it makes you really, really tough. And it makes you like not scared of rejection, right? Um, we got Sophie, Neo Jazz Soul, very dope. Very, very, very dope. Um, we used to do this kind of like neo jazz soul show out in Hollywood once a week where we would take like songs that <clears throat> people had, you know, knew like Celine Dion and make it like neo soul. It was more like neo soul. Um, but it was really a lot of fun. It's a very cool genre. Uh, Alex, you said your style is like Tupac. Well, hey, that's a pretty, if, if people are telling you your style is like Tupac, that's a pretty good compliment, I think. Big time, big time. So, um, you know, this is a, a big one, right? So the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna follow their fans. And the way that we do this is when we click on the fan, the followers, you know, I showed you guys a second ago, when you go to their, um, you know, you, that circled area right there. When you click on followers, what happens is it brings up this here, okay? What's different about this right now is we're going to follow them, but the reason why a lot of this doesn't work for people is because they skipped that design stage, right? If all your page was, again, was pictures of eggs and what you had for breakfast in your gym and you looking cute in the mirror, someone that comes to your page that likes, you know, Tupac, that likes Kid Ink, we got Ray J, we got all kinds of different artists in here that you guys are comparing yourselves to. 
they're not going to know that you're like those artists because your music isn't there and they're not going to scroll through. They don't have time. They're not going to scroll through it. Everyone has very short attention spans. That's why we need those first 12 photos to look so important, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to follow their fans. This is like fan hacking. We're going to follow others. And when we follow them, they immediately become interested in you. And many of you, them are going to check out your page. So when you follow them, they're going to get their, their notification that they were followed by this person that they don't even know. And they're going to be like, who's that? Right? But it's natural that a person's going to check you out and they're going to want to return the love. So many of them will follow you and many of them won't, right? It just is part of the game. Some of them will take interest in your content, but for you to give the best possible chance to get followed, you need those first 12 photos, which we go back to that first step, right? That's why that first step is so important because many of you have heard of this and many of you have tried this and I'm about to get into something that's gonna be even better than this, okay? That I've never seen anybody talk about. But this is just one of the methods is you follow their fans and then, so what I did was, right? As soon as I followed an Alicia Keys fan, when they checked out my profile, because they go, who's this girl following me? Let me check her out. They click on it and they go to my profile they see me immediately at the piano, right? Well, I know they like Alicia Keys. They see me immediately on the piano, playing the piano. They're gonna click on that and they're gonna say, oh snap, I like this or I don't like this, whatever it is. But the probability is, is as long as I'm posting you know, quality content, as long as I'm posting something great up there, they're more likely, there's a big probability of them following me than if I just had pictures of just me running for the day, my new TV show that I'm watching on Netflix, right? Or random, you know, memes that I post, right? There's more of a probability um, that we're gonna have there. Uh, Derek, you said, are there certain pics and videos that you pin to the top? So Derek, I don't know if you missed the beginning of this, but I covered that. I covered our design stage because there's three steps here. The design stage, and I'll, I'll cover it really quick um, in case some of you guys missed it, but the design stage is those first 12 you know, and I can show you guys really quick again, so you guys can see it. Because now you guys are gonna understand why that's so important, right? Our design stage here is, you know, we're saying exactly who we are as an artist, right? So they know what type of music that we are. Our bio is very, very clear who we are, but then our content is very important. And that's why I showed you guys my profile, right? You can tell, obviously I'm a pianist, I've been published, here I am at the piano, here I am you know, singing, here's some actually video of me singing. And then I showed you guys a few other examples, which this is why it's so important. This is why that design stage is so important. Many people skip this and they go, the follow and follow method doesn't work because I tried it and nobody followed me. Well, look at your profile. Is your profile an attractive profile? Did you take good pictures? Did you take good videos? Did you post relevant content right can someone tell that you're a musician can someone tell that you're a singer or a producer or a rapper or a band whatever it is that's why those first 12 photos are so important because they're not going to keep scrolling down they're not but this girl right here immediately when i went to her profile i clicked here she was singing this great song that um that driver's license song she sounds wonderful on it and i know if i like singing pianists I'm gonna click on that. So imagine you were a fan, put yourself in the in the, the mind state of a fan. If you are a, you know, if she reached out and, and maybe Vanessa Carlton, Alicia Keys, any of those people, you know, both of us are singing pianists. So let's say I was a, um, someone had found me and let's say I was just a fan because I followed Alicia Keys and someone clicked on me and followed me and I went to their profile and I found this. I would go, wow. That sounds really good. She's done a great job of targeting me because she found me because I was a fan already of someone else, right? So those first 12 photos, you know, we talk about making sure that it's very obvious what you do. You know, here's a rapper, singer, producer. It's very obvious what he does. He's showing the software programs that he works with to produce. He's showing himself playing piano. You know, he's showing himself doing music videos, you know, also producing other artists and that sort of thing. And I used this one as an example as well, right? Our indie folk duo, right? So that's what's so important about having that. Um, Jason says, oh, that's a good question. Uh, when you say the first 12 photos, do you mean the first 12 photos that they see, not the original 12 photos that you post? That's a good uh, question, Jason, thank you. Um, so yes, those first 12 photos on your page, that's what you want there. You want uh, you know, the first 12 photos that they see. 
So when they go to your page, the first 12 photos that they see need to represent you because that's their first impression of you. And if they don't even know that you're a musician and they love music and they just see that some random person followed them, it doesn't mean that they're gonna continue to go down your profile, right? So um, let's see here. Uh, David says, is that on the top of the highlight reels? Um, so your highlight reels are good too, but those are small, so they don't see those as much. Those don't take up as much real estate. Definitely have some really great stuff there. If you have some videos of you performing or behind the scenes stuff or music videos, or even if it's just you, you know, with the selfie type thing, singing, those are great. But what I'm talking about now is, see, there's your um, highlighted videos, right? We're talking about more of those 12 photos because they're going to see these first. These are big. We want those 12 photos. We just need to make sure that those 12 always look good whenever we're doing the follow and follow method, right? Um, Vinever says, is there a way to arrange Instagram to get the best 12 photos on the top? I wish, I wish we could just like grab and drag them to the top because that would make life very easy, but there's not. So you kind of always have to be on your game, right? If you're always doing the follow and follow method, you always have to make sure that those first 12 photos look really good. So as you're shooting your content, throughout your week, as you're planning your month, if you guys do that, you can plan content as well based on the fact that you want your Instagram to look a certain way, right? You can say, hey guys, get your band together. Let's shoot us singing like five songs real quick. That way we can have some footage throughout the month and you can save that footage, post maybe 30 seconds of it here, post another 30 seconds another day. You know, like I repurpose my content over and over again. I'll post the same thing over and over again. Um, so you can absolutely do that. You know, you can post something and then post it again, you know, a few weeks later so that your first 12 photos always, you know, the first 12 photos that they see when they come to your Instagram are always a representation of you as an artist. Um, so let me see here. Um, so this is a good question, Smarts. Um, you said, so we shouldn't be posting lifestyle and things to interact with our fans. Do we keep that just on the story? So this is a good question. You can, yes, and actually it does help, okay? It does help for you to have lifestyle, but you don't want so much lifestyle that they don't know you're an artist. So um, there's nothing wrong with you just posting a selfie. In fact, people love selfies, right? There's nothing wrong with you sharing what you have had for breakfast. I know I, I, I talk a lot of smack about that, but you don't want that to take up the majority of those 12 photos, right? You also wanna show your human. People love that you post you know, what you're doing during the day but you want it to be very, very clear who you are. So you have to make your best judgment. If some, you know, look at your Instagram. If someone that looked at my Instagram for five seconds, can they tell that I'm an artist? Can they tell that I'm a musician? Can they tell, maybe even somewhat tell what kind of music I make? Like, it's pretty obvious they play guitar and sing. So they're probably kind of in the folk acoustic singer songwriter thing, right? We can tell just by looking at them, you know, and that was really good. And I'll show, you know, even with mine, I have a little bit of, you know, um, you know, here's me with my son. I have a lot of stuff with my son and I have some memes and stuff like that, but you can post lifestyle. Just make sure that, you know, when you look at your profile, is it easy to tell that I'm a musician or is it easy to tell that I'm a producer, whatever it is that you are? Is it very, very clear? Can someone tell within five seconds what I do? Um, let me see the other questions. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Derek says, thank you. Um, Sakura says, would it help to archive selfies until you get more music pics at the top and maybe bring them back out later? Um, like I said, Sakura, you, you have to be the best judge of that. You know, I would say if, you know, if on each row, right, each of my rows, I have something about, you know, like what I do here, right? So if you have like, you know, here's me in music, I'm playing piano in my first two rows, I have me actually performing on two different things here, right? Um, maybe this photo right here, you can't tell that I'm a musician, but it's still a nice photo. So as long as you have things that are very attractive, um, things that look good, the lighting's good, or the audio is good, whatever it is, and it can be a selfie, that's totally fine. People love selfies. Just make sure that the majority of those 12 photos, again, represent you as an artist, and that when someone goes to your page right away, they don't have to wonder what you do. They need to know within seconds because they don't have time and they don't care. There's a million other profiles that they can watch. There's a million other Beyonce's and Kardashians that are super interesting and post lots of cool stuff. So we need to catch their attention right away. So let me see what, um, got a couple questions over here. Is that making sense so far? And I'm, I'm 
And then I'll move on to the last of what we're going to get into. Um, David says, when you say repost the same thing, is it exactly the same post or like a pick from a shoot of similar shots? So David, I've done both. Um, I have photos that are very similar to each other that I've shot at the same shoot. And I might put like a flashback Friday, a throwback Thursday, a memory Monday, you know, that sort of thing. Like here's another shot from my photo shoot or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I've also did that with music videos. I actually did that here. So um, in this video here, um, of me sitting on this chair, this is a clip of me performing a song. So that's like a music video that I had already posted. I've already posted that music video down lower, but here I just highlighted a single part. And a lot of what I do too is I put different captions. Like I don't just put like, here's my music video. You can keep it really interesting so you don't feel bad about posting the same content over and over again. In that particular video, I'm wearing a, a jacket that reminded me of Michael Jackson and I loved the jackets that he would wear. So in that particular video, if you guys go to my Instagram, I talk about that. I talk about how in this clip is when I'm, I found this jacket that I love and Michael Jackson used to wear jackets like this. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. So I'm reposting, you know, here I posted a different part of my song, right? I, I chose a different 30 seconds to post. But even if you reposted your song again, it's okay. Like, just give it some space. Don't repost it over and over again, though, so that, like, it's here, 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 here. You don't want that. You want it to be just later in your feed, and you just need to use your best judgment on that. But I wouldn't recommend doing it in the same scroll. If you can scroll and it has all the same, you know, stuff in it, we don't want to do that. But I, rep I use, you know, this photo was taken 10 years ago. I've probably posted it 10 times, you know, I, I probably post it once a year, twice a year or whatever, but there's nothing wrong with, especially if you just released a song. I've posted this probably three times in the last four weeks, right? Not this particular clip, but clips from this music video, right? Same thing with these photos as well. I've done the same thing. Um, let me see if these other questions, hopefully that answers your question, David. Uh, let me see. Brittany says, I'm an independent artist that has one Instagram page, which is my stage name, and then I have another one that is my label or company name. Should I merge the two or just use one? And if so, which one should I promote? Uh, it depends, Brittany. Um, you know, if, if you are, um, you know, building yourself as an artist, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily think it's bad. I know some people say to keep them completely separate. I keep both of mine together and, um, you know, on this page, I have my music and I have what I do as a teacher here because it's very, it means a lot to me as a, as a brand for me that I do both. But I also have a separate Instagram called the Music Hustler, right? Where a lot of people just um, share with me and talk to me about how to promote their music and how to get their music out there and that sort of thing. But I, I keep everything under here um, just because I have decided to use to brand myself as a teacher and a musician. It depends on what you wanna do. Um, I would say overall, it's hard to promote two Instagrams. It's hard to get out. It's already hard enough as an independent if you don't have a huge budget. There's nothing wrong with keeping it under one umbrella. And then I have my other Instagram as well, and it just kind of naturally grows. I just don't spend time promoting that one. I dedicate most of my time here. So if that makes sense. Um, let's see. Uh, if there's other questions here. Bella, Crystal, Arnaud, you guys are saying, yes, it makes sense. Sabrina says, yes, it makes sense. Um, Joanna says, my challenge is neo gospel is new. So I would have to figure out if I should go the neo soul side or gospel side. Well, I mean, they're, they're, as you decide what you know route that you're gonna go, you can still reach out to artists that are similar to you, even if you don't have it completely dialed in, right? And maybe you're still on the fence of things. As long as people like music that's similar to yours, you have a better chance of attracting them as a fan than if you're just randomly out following people. And that's what a lot of people do when they teach the follow and follow method. They're like, one, they don't talk about how important it is to have those first 12 photos or videos as you know content that represents you. And then they just tell you to just go follow random people. Like that's not gonna help you, right? We need it to be targeted people. So as you figure that out, it will come together. But in the meantime, just find artists that are at least similar to you and you're gonna see way better success than if you didn't do that. Um, let's see. 
David says, I think I went too spammy and lost engagement. <laughs> yeah, you know what, David, if you were just reposting your single over and over and over and over again, and the same thing over and again with the same caption over and over again, people hate it. Do not ever do that. You can repost your single over and over again, but accompany it with a new story, accompany it with a new photo, right? You can also do, also as you, you repost your content, you can use it like in your PS, like I do this a lot, right? On my Instagram, I'll put, um, like if you'll see guys in my last few photos, like if you go to my Instagram, I promoted this event, like the last three posts, three or four posts. Now imagine if I had just posted the same thing over and over again going live, come to my, my webinar, going live, come to my webinar, going live, come to my webinar. People would get annoyed and they'd unfollow me. But instead what I did was I posted a picture of me like screaming into my phone, right? And I was like, does this, you know, does social media uh, frustrate you just like it did for me, right? So it's a little bit more entertaining. And then I go, hey, if you wanna join my webinar, I'm going to be doing this tomorrow. You can also do this with your music. Like I said, for me, I shared the, the story about the jacket. You know, I stared the, I shared that story. You know, I posted um, some bloopers from this music video because my shirt kept falling off, falling off. It's hilarious. And I had some um, foot footage from that. And I posted that, that's on my Instagram too. So I can tell them, check out my single. But instead of saying, check out my single, check out my single, check out my single, I said, guys, look, check out some bloopers from my last music video. By the way, if you want to check out the whole song, you can go here. So do you see how that's like not spammy at all? I'm introducing some new story about my music video. I'm introducing something new about it. You know, share the, the new thing that I shared about the Michael Jackson jacket, you know, those types of things. You're introducing something new that they haven't heard before. Okay, so it's not, it's not spammy, but you're still promoting the same thing. So that's how you kind of get around that. Um, see if that made sense to you. Uh, Bella says you're going to change a lot in 10 years. Yes, you are, Bella. Um, but that's what's great. I, I swear, people like go through my Instagram all the way down to the bottom. I'm like, who is this chick? She's crazy. Um, but that's that's also fun too. Like our real fans are, they are going to scroll through. Once they find interest in you, they're going to want to know who you were years ago. They're going to want to go through it. But right now, we're talking about attracting new fans and followers right now. Um, Arnaud says you do on Facebook sometimes is more efficient on Instagram. It just depends. Instagram has always been, it's, it's been such a great um, avenue because Facebook, um, you, you have to be friends with someone to really, you know, be able to communicate with them. Instagram people use it a lot like they use, um, <coughs> excuse me, a lot like they use text messaging, right? It's not weird to get a message from, even like for people to like, go on dates right like guys are always hitting me up like hey you know and girls are hitting up you know i have plenty of friends that have found their significant other others on there so people they talk to each other so it's more of a social experience this is why this works so well on instagram whereas facebook it's a little bit less of that it's a little bit less people aren't in the same state of mind where they're like wanting to meet people as much facebook has been more to just stay in contact with like your family and friends right it's more of like that. So um, let me see here. Sakura says, when do you do that though? Do you delete the older ones? Uh, Sakura, I don't, but again, that's because I, I post the content differently. I don't post the same content. Gosh, my hair's like crazy right now. Um, I don't repost the same thing, right? I post different clips of the music video. I post a different photo from behind the scenes, right? Now, after months or maybe even a month, it's okay. I can post the exact same thing if I want to. But what's great is as you shoot your social media content, this is also something to keep in mind, shoot behind the scenes. If you're shooting a music video, get some video of you going, you know, cause I'll, I'll say like, I did this for my, I just released a music video called After the Butterflies. And behind the scenes, as I was shooting it, I took my video and I went, um, here I am behind the scenes of my video here. You know, I, I haven't shot a video in like two years cause I had a baby and I was just kind of talking about, you know, like my experience and here I am. It feels so good to be in front of the camera again. And, you know, I put together a bloopers video and you know, that bloopers video, when I posted my music video, it did good. It got like maybe 3000 plays the first 24 hours. Right. But when I posted my bloopers video with the cell phone, that got like 6,000 plays the first 24 hours. People love seeing the background stuff, right? So you can post some, just repost. It's, you're still promoting it. You're still telling people, hey, you can check out my single here. 
but it's different. You're not just posting the exact same content. Okay. Does that, does that make sense to you guys? Cause it's a big one. Cause I, I see a lot of people just reposting the same stuff. Listen to my single, listen to my single, I'm on Spotify, I'm on Spotify, help me get, you know, to these many plays. You'd be much better sharing something different. You know, I shared, uh, I posted a photo the other day talking about how cold I was in the middle of a shoot. I'm like, I was freezing cold. It was just ridiculous. And I'm here trying to look cute, even though I'm so cold, you know, and people love to comment on that, you know, I'm um, instead of just here I am, I shoot. Share a little piece of you, share about what that experience was. Share if you spilt, you know, tomato sauce on yourself and you had to go back and, you know, clean it up or whatever it was, share a little piece of you. Because then the next time you can post either the same photo, maybe a month later or the same video a month later, um, but you can share a different story. Hey guys, I've shared this before, but you know, I've shared this photo before, but I didn't tell you guys the story of what happened the night before. Oh my God, it was crazy. You know, like, I was partying and I met this guy and this lady and then, you know, whatever I found it. And this is now I have a new puppy dog. Cause I adopted a dog. I saw on the side of the road and then I shot this music video. It's interesting and people like it. And then it makes for a good entertaining story. Um, even though you're posting the same content or similar content. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm looking at y'all's questions really quick. So, Um, David says nabbing that awesome. Arnaud says, yeah, what is the gap on average between publishing the same post? According to me, like I said, um, I, uh, I'll wait like a month before I post the same exact thing, but just keep those captions unique. Don't post, don't tell people, listen to my single, share something, share something interesting before you say that, you know, just, it'll, it'll, you don't want someone to come to your Instagram and, and see if they come to your Instagram and they see you just spamming, they are not going to want to follow you. Okay. They're not going to, if they just see, listen to my single, listen to my single, they're not going to want to follow you because they know that that's their future. They know that their feed is going to get spammed with listening to my single. You don't want that. Okay. You don't want that at all. Um, let me see here. Let me see if you guys can, uh, Can you guys see me okay? Are you guys able to see me all right? Have you guys been able to see me? Because I've been like talking and all kinds of stuff. Um, yes, you can see. Okay, perfect. Um, awesome. Okay, I'm looking here. William, you're saying, is it good to get paid promotions? You know, we'll talk about that on another webinar because that's a whole other process. Right. That's a whole other process. It can be good. And most musicians, it's bad because you don't know what you're doing. Right. It's only good if you know what you're doing, just like the follow and follow method. Right. A lot of people go follow random people and then they get mad that it doesn't work. Well, that's because they're not doing these steps. Right. They're not doing design. They're not designing their Instagram perfectly. They're not finding the right fans. Right. They skip those first two crucial steps and then they say it doesn't work. It's the same thing with ads. A lot of people are like, ads don't work. No, they do. They work very well, but they work 99% horribly for fans, for musicians, because musicians don't know what they're doing. We'll cover that in another webinar, but today we're talking about how to organically do it without ads, right? These are 3,000 followers that you don't have to pay for. These are going to be even more effective than running ads if you do this. If you just put the time in, you'll get fans faster um, unless you're willing to spend a lot of money running ads, right? You have to run a lot of ads to get fans. Um, so, so let's get into the next, um, let's get into the next step here. Okay. Because there's a few other things that we need to, we need to cover because it's not just following. Okay. Let me, um, let me move back to where we were because I kind of went off on a tangent here. Uh, follow their friends. Okay. Grand slide. All right. There we go. Cool. Go. So. We can follow their fans, but we can't just spam the heck out of everybody. We can't just follow a million people. Okay. Because Instagram will block us. There are limitations. Now I have done it all the way up to a thousand a day. I don't want to recommend that because I don't want you guys to get deleted and then you come get mad at me. Okay. There's different sites, everyone says different things. I recommend starting out slow. Okay. So everyone that I found online says anywhere from 200 to 600 daily limit of actions will keep you safe. Actions include liking, commenting, following. 
They include all of those things, okay? So most people say anywhere from 200 to 600. I have done it up to 1,000. So what I used to do, and this is totally up to you on what you want. Instagram has not been clear on what their limitations are, but I have been blocked. Like what happens is after I follow too many people, Instagram says you've been blocked from following, okay? And then it takes a few hours before I can get back to doing it again, right? So then I knew it was my limit. So what I found was I would stay around like 90. I would follow like 90 people every hour and a half. So I used to like set an alarm. So at like, I'd start at nine o'clock in the morning, I'd set an alarm for like 1030. And then I'd go follow another 90. And then I'd set an alarm for, you know, 12. And then I'd go follow another 90. I could do that anywhere from like eight to 10 times a day. And I was always safe. I've always been safe when I've done that. I don't know if that'll apply to everybody because once again, online people say anywhere from 200 to 600. So I want you guys to be careful with that. Start out a little slow, maybe just follow 40 every hour and a half or, you know, four, you know, that sort of thing and make sure everything's okay. Cause the worst that has happened to me is Instagram says you're blocked and it just took a few hours for me to get back. Right. So make sure to be conscious of that as you can't just go follow 10,000 people cause that's spamming. Right. And not only that, they give you a limitation of how many people you can follow period. You can only follow 7,500 people anyway. So what happens is you have to eventually go and unfollow these people. And it's the same thing. Those are considered actions too. So anywhere between, you know, I used to unfollow up to a thousand people a day, like I said, but I only recommend maybe 200 to 600 because that's what most of like the blogs and all these other websites say. But as you unfollow, a lot of people ask, well, how much long, you know, how, wait, how long do I wait to unfollow? They used to have these apps. It used to be a lot easier. They used to have these apps where you could just tell them to find, you know, the fans that are not engaging and you can just unfollow them. Uh, Instagram, the last time that I tried to find any, they blocked it. I don't know if you guys know of any of these that are, are now working, but um, I've had to do it manually. But again, it takes minutes. If you just set your alarm and you follow 90 people, it literally takes like 90 seconds, right? It's not hard. It's just committing to those 90 seconds. Let me do it. And then what I would do is I would take a day or two and I would unfollow people, right? It's actually faster to unfollow because when you're following people, you know, I would get like a, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 30% success rate, right? So if I followed a hundred people, I might get 30 followers. Um, so I have to follow a hundred people to get those 30 followers. Whereas when you're unfollowing, you can unfollow people very quickly, right? You don't have to ask for their permission to unfollow. So you can unfollow them. And the reason why you need to unfollow them is because you have a limit of how many people you can follow. You can only follow 7,500 people. So you have to take a day or two um, to unfollow. So what I recommend is maybe you spend three days following, right? Reach those maximum, you know, uh, daily limits. So maybe you've chosen 500 or your daily limits that you're going to choose. So I'm going to follow 500 people on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I'll unfollow 500 people, right? Because you have to keep making room. You have to keep making room so that you can continue to follow people. Does that make sense? So that's that's why you have to unfollow. There used to be those apps that would unfollow for you, and then Instagram banned them. That that made it really easy. That was a good one. Um, let me see here. Can you guys still see? Oops. Actually, you guys can't see it. Let me. Um, you guys can still see me, right? Uh, let me see. Jared, yes, I will be sending out the replay. Uh, yep, everyone can see me. Okay, perfect. So I'm actually just talking to you guys right now. I don't have this on a slide. I'm just sharing with you guys how to unfollow. So um, that's that's when you unfollow. You, you need to choose a time, but I would recommend, hey, spend two or three days following and then spend one day unfollowing. And it's not the whole day. It's literally just 90 seconds every hour and a half when you set your alarm. So that doesn't seem hard, right? If you wanna unfollow. Um, Jeffrey says you've gotten blocked several times. It's probably because you're doing too many actions, Jeffrey. So you got to lower those actions. And then also, there's another thing to think about. If you're used to not, if you don't engage online at all, and all of a sudden there's like 500 follows, Instagram's going to think that like you're either spamming people or you got hacked. So you can take it slow, right? The first day, maybe you're only going to want to follow 200 people throughout the day or 100 people. And the next day, you add a little bit more until you get to 
500 people a day, right? Until you get to that, because you don't want to be blocked. We don't want to get our accounts blocked. I have never been deleted. I've never been any, and I've done this for years, okay? But I've made it very clear. I made it very conscious. I count how many people I followed, and Instagram did stop me, where they say you can no longer follow anyone, and it took a few hours for me to get my, you know, um, permission back. But I made it a point. I went, I followed 110 people. Let me try 90. That was kind of my safe thing. But for you, if you're not constantly active on your Instagram, like I said, most websites say anywhere from 200 to 600, okay? So you have to figure that out on your on your end. Just watch. If Instagram allows you to follow 90 people like it does me, but I'm very active on social media, so it's not weird for there to be 90 actions within an hour. They don't block me. More than that, they do, okay? Um, Let me see here. Uh, I'm trying to look at your questions, guys. Um, some of you guys are asking questions about my $19 guide. Um, you can hit me up, Masood, on Instagram, and we can go over that because we're kind of just sticking to the Instagram growth right now. Um, okay, perfect, and everyone can see me. Uh, okay, perfect. So Danny said, what's a good ratio for following and unfollowing again? Um, like I said, it depends on how many people are following you because some of you, you know, maybe have more interesting Instagrams than someone else, right? So if your Instagram quite isn't like the best, maybe you're going to get a lower success rate of follows. That's why your your Instagram needs to be amazing, okay? So like I had anywhere from 10 to 30% success rate. So for every 100 people I followed, I'd have anywhere from 10 to 30 people follow me back. You may have better or worse numbers. You just have to figure that out. So what you you need to go is, okay, start watching your Instagram. I'm following a thousand people now and I have, you know, 400 followers. I'm going to now, after two days of following, I'm going to spend the third day and unfollow, right? So usually you can do something like that. Spend two days following or spend three days following and then unfollow, if that makes sense. Um, okay, perfect. Rico, you just logged on at the very end and you're asking me how Instagram works to monetize. I cannot start the whole thing over again for you, but I can send you the replay, okay? Um, let's see here. Uh, Rico says, is a verified blue check so important for users profiles? No, it's not. I've never used it and I still get 3,000 fans a month. Would it help if I had it? It might. I don't know. I'm sharing how to do this from my experience. And my experience is I don't have a verified check and I still get 3,000 followers a month just by using this method. So if I can do it without a verified check, you definitely can as well. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Rico says, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Rico. Uh, you, I'll send you the, the replay though, okay? You just like ask like, hey, can you start from the beginning? I kind of missed it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? All right, guys, I'm going to start the whole thing all over again. You guys ready? Um, okay, so uh, Sabrina says, oh, my God, it works. I just followed 50 people, and three people have already followed me. I just wanted to try it. I told you, man, it works. It works. It's so cool, right? And you're, And the thing is, once you are consistent with it, you're going to see so many followers flooding in. And the thing is, because you followed them, this is a great thing. Because you followed them, you've interacted with them first. And you've kind of gotten to their ego. They're like, ooh, I, I am special. She or he is following me. So then what they do is a lot of times they return love. They not only follow you, they comment. They'll comment on your photos. They'll comment on your videos. This is how you've built a fan because they didn't have to just follow you. You followed them first, right? If someone follows you first, um, it kind of feels good. You know, it kind of like plays your ego a little bit. You're like, oh, I must be extra cool. So then they check you out and they're like, let me return the love because he or she is, you know, awesome. So, um, it's cool. Christopher says, good info. You logged on at the end too. You want the replay? No worries. I'm going to send out the replay, guys. No problem. Um, let's see. Okay, perfect. I just want to make sure that you guys can are getting this, checking out the, uh, the um, uh, let's see. Yeah, Tatum. Actually, yeah, I just addressed that question. You said with the follow and follow method, do you get a lot of engagement or is the engagement kind of wonky? The engagement's awesome. The engagement's awesome because you have targeted fans that like your music already. And then you've initiated engagement with them first. So now they already like you. Do you see the difference? Instead of you just like 
if you put out an ad, for example, people have to find you and then they have to make the first move. That's scary, right? Think about dating, right? Take, making the first move on someone. It's scary because you might get rejected, right? But as a musician, you know, if you've already made the first move, you've already said, here, I like you. I'm commenting. I mean, I'm following you. Now they don't, there's no way that they're going to get rejected. Now they're going to comment and they're going to, they already like you a little bit more than another artist who doesn't give them any attention. I've gotten really, really great relationships with fans because of this. Okay. So um, let's see here. Sabrina says, you are so clever. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, was that a necessity? Because I built most of my career because I had no money. I had no money starting out, like nothing, absolutely nothing. I was eating dollar menu McDonald's every single day. I've told this story, but McDonald's used to have like the hamburger and the fries, you know, that you could buy for a dollar and six cents. I ate that almost every single day or the microwavable macaroni and cheese, like one or the other. So a lot of the stuff that I teach is stuff that I've done with no money, right? You know, so, and, and I do teach how to use money as well. I mean, I run a lot of ads and stuff now, but I had to build my career originally. I built my career from zero to a hundred thousand dollars a year, guys, on nothing. Nobody gave me money. Nobody did anything like that. So as I share this with you, these are, you know, ways to do this if you're starting from nothing, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, William says, would it be smart to add people according to your target audience and reach out to the people you like with your music link or a greeting? So um, I think obviously commenting on their photos and stuff are great. Um, if you just send them a music link right away, you're spamming them. They know that you only follow them to spam them, right? Like you don't want to do that. Um, if you do reach out to them, it's cool to comment. It's cool to like, just, you know what I do sometimes guys, I'll spend like 10 minutes and I'll just go down my Instagram and I'll just like, and I'll post a few comments that has nothing to do with my music or anything. Right. I'll just put cool post or great picture or whatever. Cause I know at one point I'm going to share my music. And at that point I'll, they'll already have seen that I'm not just there to gain fans. I'm not just there to do that. I'm actually there because I like interacting with people and have, you know, genuine interest in people. Now I do have music that I want to promote as well, you know? So um, I would say it, it does help to engage with them. So that's a good question to ask, but I wouldn't send a link right away um, at all. Um, I might, after I've liked and commented on something, um, if you have the time, it'd be great, you know, send them. And, and if you've been on any of my other webinars, I've talked about how important it is to build an email list. At that point, you can send them an email or a DM and say, hey, do you want one of my songs for free? I'm just adding people to my email list. And if you join, I'll send you a couple of my songs. You know, how, how do you, do you, would you like for me to add you? You know, something like that is cool because you're offering them something for free. You're not asking them to check out your song. You're offering them here. You don't need to buy my music. I'll give it to you for free. Just send me your email. And now you're building your email list, which we're not going to get too much into, but that is the most valuable thing you could possibly build because you have a direct connection with your fans now. And social media is an incredible way to build your email list. So that's kind of another strategy, but that's just, we'll have to get into that another one. But I hope that that answers your, that that answers your question. Um, let's see here. Will Power, this is really good advice. All right, awesome. Is that, that's all making sense to everybody? Like all of that's pretty clear on why this, you know, works. Or is there any other questions? Cause I'm, I'm about to get into the last part of this. Danny says, yes. Derek says, yes. Sabrina says, should I maybe wait to use the strategies before I change my name? Um, Sabrina, you don't need to wait cause it's not that much of your time, right? Every 90 minutes, if you have your alarm go off and for a few seconds, you follow people. There's nothing wrong with that, with building it. Um, especially if you're just building those relationships with people you can't lose, right? So it, it's not going to hurt you. But obviously, <coughs> once you have your, you know, if you had your, your name perfectly and your music perfectly, your brand perfectly, absolutely it helps as you're, as you're moving forward and looking, you know, to uh, more effectively build your fans but it doesn't hurt for you to build it now. Okay. Um, all clear. Summer says, are you seeing these questions? I am. So sometimes there's a lot of questions come in. So sometimes I miss a few, but yes, I am seeing them. Uh, Arnaud says, sí, claro. 
Alexander says, amazing advice. Thank you. Uh, Ryan says, did you see my question? I see this question that you asked if I saw your question. But if you have another question, feel free to put it in there because I obviously didn't see the other one. Um, Heaven says, my bad, just joined. Don't worry about it, Heaven. Someone came in earlier. I forgot who it was, but it was, we had a good laugh because it's like, hey, I missed the whole thing. Can you please explain it all over again? You know, but I am going to send out a replay. So uh, let's see. William said, yes, it did. That was great. Plus, I was on your webinar about emails and how to make 5K. Awesome. Uh, Sabrina says, you're right. I'm going to change my artist name as soon as possible to my real name. Perfect. Yeah, just whatever your, your name is going to be. It's better, obviously, if people recognize your name when they when they follow you. That's the name that they're going to remember. So it, the sooner, the better you can get that in. Um, Rico, uh, that's a good question. Is there a way to see if people you don't want to accidentally unfollow? There used to be apps on this, and I'm gonna. I've looked these up, and I've tried to find some new apps, but a lot of times they get they Instagram doesn't honor them anymore. I used to use, there was a bunch of different apps I used to use that would unfollow people that weren't following me. But um, at one point, again, there's a limitation. You can only follow 7,500 people. So regardless, you're going to have to start unfollowing people that are even following you. It's just going to happen because once you get to that point, there's a limit. And you can get to that point fairly quickly, right? I told you guys that I was following anywhere you know, from 600 to 1,000 people a day. So that means in less than two weeks, I've already hit my limit, right? So I have to start unfollowing people right away. Eventually, you're going to start unfollowing people that are following you. I'm going to look up some more. I mean, maybe there's some stuff that's come out now, but I've had to do it manually because Instagram has um, blocked a lot of those apps. Summer said, do you check out the profile before you follow? No, I don't, Summer. That's just way too much time. I don't know if you caught the beginning of this, um, if you missed the beginning, I would, I'm going to send out the replay. I highly recommend you checking that out because we're not checking out their profile. Instead, we're finding them because they're fans of other artists that are like us. So we already know that there's a big possibility that they're going to like us too, since we already sound like artists that they like. We're not just following random people at all. That's not what we're doing. We're following people that like artists that sound like us. That's why this works. Um, our nod says you have to teach me how to roll the R. <laughs> no problem. Oh, Derek says it was Rico. It was Rico. Um, let's see here. What if you're a music promoter or talent manager? Uh, Richard, if, if you're managing other artists' profiles that we were talking about, then you would use the same, um, you would use the same um, method. Um, if you're a music promoter or talent manager and you're looking for artists, you would just look up for, you would look up artists. Um, there's other ways that you can do this and I'm not, I'd have to do another webinar on this, but you can use like hashtags. You can look up like if you're looking for an R&B singer to follow you, you can look up the hashtags of R&B singers or hashtags of hip hop artists and you could follow them and then they'll follow you. So do you see how that kind of works? So if you're looking for artists to follow you because you're looking for talent, I would recommend using hashtags. That's a whole different strategy. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm checking out y'all's questions here. Tatum says, is that limit in total of 7,500? Yes. You can only follow 7,500 people. After that, it will not let you follow anymore. That's why you have to unfollow people. Uh, oh, Lyrical says the nine block IG spreads. Um, those look really good on your profile. Um, but they don't look good in news feeds. So find a happy medium. I've used those, um, but a lot of people don't look at your whole profile. They just see the single photos. For this particular method, it doesn't necessarily be, it's not necessarily gonna be a bad thing, right? Because they're gonna click on your profile and they're gonna see it. So that's fine too. But the problem is when you use, and she's asking or he's asking, you know, when you put like nine photos, but they're all actually one photo, like it's pieces of one photo. The problem with that is, they don't get as much content. They, they don't get a, enough of you to see if they like you. Instead, you're taking up the whole, you know, when they click on your profile, if you have a photo that takes up nine photos, that's all they see, right? When you want them to see videos of you singing, we want them to see you in the studio, we want them to see a selfie, we want them to get a wider range of who you are so that they can want to follow you. We want them to go, I have to follow you. That's why it's, it's good to have, you know, more content so they can kind of get an idea more of who you are. Uh, Rico, does this work for producers or DJs? It does, you know, so if you were a, a producer like Dr. Dre, you know that anybody follows Dr. Dre is probably going to be interested in you, 
same thing. You're going to go to their profile, you're going to click on their followers, and you're going to follow their followers, right? That's how this is going to work because if they're fans of Dre and you sound like Dre, they're probably going to like you. Absolutely. So same thing with DJs. You know, you could follow DJs that are similar to you and you're going to follow their fans. Um, let's see here. Jay says, should it only be photos? No, Jay, I covered that a little earlier. Uh, it should be photos and videos and videos are preferred. Videos get a lot more engagement, right? Videos get a lot more views and the, uh, the Instagram algorithm likes videos better, okay? Uh, Rico says, do you offer services to do this for others? I can only imagine this is uber time consuming. Um, I offer a lot of services. I'm actually gonna get into something here in a little bit. Um, I offer a lot of PR services. I do one-on-ones, I do group coaching. I do a lot of things and we're gonna get into that. And a lot of you here are already in my group coaching class in Music, in music Hustler. Um, so I'll get into that in just a little while, Rico, okay? Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Kat just says, the last two weeks, I got 180 new followers through this method. Awesome. Uh, just the unfollowing takes time. It does. It takes a little bit of time. Um, oh, but you're checking who follows you back and not first. I mean, you can do that because you, I mean, you can check and you can go to their profile and see if they're not following you, right? Then it's easy to unfollow them. Um, but the problem with that is eventually you have to unfollow people, even if they're following you, because there's a limit. You're eventually going to get to that limit of 7,500 people, regardless of whether they're following or not following. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Sabrina, that's a good question. She said, when you start unfollowing people, some notice. Do you just continue or what do you do? Yes, some people are going to notice that you unfollow them and they're going to unfollow you. It's just part of the game. It's part of it. But as long as you keep following people, you'll, you'll make up with those numbers. More people are going to start following you. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Um, okay, Hakeem says there's an app called Reports that will unfollow. I'll have to check that out because I used to use a different app and they banned it. So I'm going to check out that. So if you guys want to check out reports, uh, Hakeem is saying reports work. So maybe that one works. Um, so I'm going to give you guys an even better way. Okay. And this is, I've never even seen anybody talk about this. Then it's like follow and follow method on steroids. So the next thing is, if you follow the fans who comment and interact with their posts, okay? I'm talking to you about Alicia Keys. If I follow the people that comment on her videos, now I know that they're super highly targeted fans because they're actually engaging with her posts. Not only are they following her, but they're active. And we want those fans. We want active fans. These are people who are saying, I love you, Alicia. Oh my God, I love your song. Oh my God, I was at your concert last year. Or, you know, your song helped me through a hard time. These are, these are active fans. It takes a little bit more time because you have to click on each profile, but the, the fans are gonna be really, really targeted. I mean, look at this. So like, here's one of John Legend's uh, videos. If you, you know, if you scroll down, you see the comments, look, there's each of these people, look at them. Your voice is balsam to my soul. Your voice slays me. Fire emojis, loved it. Heart emojis, John, you are amazing. These are even better fans. This just takes time. Because the difference is with the, the fan, when you just click on the fans, there's a button that just says follow, right? So you can follow very, very quickly. Um, but the problem is, oh, you know what? I'm not even showing you guys the page, is it? You can't even see it. Let me show you guys. Okay, now can you guys see it? So here you go. Here's John Legend's video that he posted. Can you guys see that okay? Yep, okay. Um, and in the comments, here's these are super fans. These are people that are engaging. They really, really care. The only difference is it's going to take you a little more time because you have to click on each profile and follow them, right? So instead of seconds, it's going to take you a few minutes. But if you do this every day, guys, and it's going to take, take some time, right? We're building a business here. We're business owners. As we build our business, it takes us time to do this. If this was easy, everybody would do it. It just takes a little bit of time. But really, guys, it takes like minutes, 
This isn't like hard labor. I used to be out on the streets selling my music door to door. If I ever knew there was going to be a platform where all I had to do is sit in my phone and just like and follow some people, oh my God, I wouldn't have believed it because I was out on in 115 degree weather knocking on people's doors trying to get them to like my music, right? Where here, you just go to an artist that's like you, go to their comments, click on there and follow them. So you can either follow their followers because that's quick. You can just follow their followers. It's a really quick, you know, uh, way to follow them. It's very fast. There's just a button that says follow. So you can do tons of them in seconds. But if you want really targeted followers, go to their comment section. Follow those people. Those are very targeted. Um, Summer says, you started following people and now you're getting a lot of messages saying hi. Remember, I told you, this is the thing. They want to interact with you. I write everybody back. I, I really do. I try to write everybody back, um, you know, when I can. I also have someone that helps me. You know, I, I have a customer service rep because I get, because I sell a lot of courses and books and all that kind of stuff. So I have to have someone else because they have questions about it, right? I wouldn't be able to do it for four hours a day. But when I first started, I had the time. I made the time. I commented with every single person that came through. That's going to help you build those relationships, right? The quality of those relationships, those super fans. You know, they always talk about you need 1,000 true fans. 1,000 fans that are willing to spend $100 with you a year means you're making $100,000 a year. You only need 1,000 of those. That's it. That are willing to buy a T-shirt and a CD and, you know, join your crowdfunding and you're making $100,000 a year. You don't have to be wildly famous. You don't have to have this big hit song. You don't have any of those things. So it helps you to build those relationships, if that makes sense. Um, Hakeem says, good idea. Yes, yeah, so, so I do. I write back as much as I possibly can. I really, really do. I try very hard. Um, and especially, I mean, I used to spend, back in MySpace days, I used to do a lot of stuff like this too. And I had gotten, I was in the, they used to have this like leaderboard type thing where they showed like the top 10 most searched independent artists in the world. And I was there, I was always like top like seven, it was always there. But I did this like six hours a day, seven hours a day. I would write every single person back, I personally reached out to everybody. So it was a very different experience. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, Summer, if they're just men trying to hook up with you, no, I don't write those back. Um, you know, obviously like you, you can tell the difference if someone's interested in your music or not. Uh, and then you could also choose just to follow women. You know, you could go to these artist profiles and just follow girls. You don't have to follow the men, right? Um, Sabrina says, what if people write some weird or uncomfortable stuff? Just ignore them. I get tons of those messages a day, a day. I get a lot. Um, just ignore them. Uh, Summer says, true, girl power, yes, you know, so if you're just, and, and like for me, uh, you can also look at your Spotify. On my Spotify, it'll tell me like the majority of my listeners are like females. So I know if the majority of people who listen to my music are females, and it probably works for me to target females, right? When I go through the profiles, I'll just follow females. I won't even deal with them. And that's a good question. I should actually add that into the profile. Jared says, audio cut out. Are you saying to write back to everyone who follows you? No. No, 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 no. You don't need to write back to everyone who follows you. That's, that'd be insane. Um, does it help for you to go like their comment? Does it help for you to go comment on their photos? Sure it does. It makes them more interested in checking out your music. I never had the time for that. That was, you know, but if they wrote to me or they commented on my photos, I always commented back. I always wrote back. So try to find time to do that because it means a lot. All right, cool. So I know I had a couple people, there's a couple people in here asking if I teach this in a form, let's see, where, where was it at? I'm trying to find it. Jared says, got you the bomb, Christine. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you guys are, okay. Audio cut out, true girl power. I'm trying to see if there's any other questions. Guys, real quick, before I move on, because I was gonna move on to something else. What, are there any other questions here? Uh, William, there is. We're not talking about posting right now. Um, I would I, I would do another webinar on that. That's a whole other thing. But um, yeah, absolutely. I use my graphs for a lot of things. Most of my followers, like I said, most of my listeners are females. 
knowing that most of my listeners are females, I'm probably going to post more comments. And say, you know, I post a lot about me being a mom, right? If most of my followers, you know, that listen to my, my music were men, maybe they wouldn't want to hear about what it's like to be a mom, right? So maybe I might just focus on other stuff. So just kind of, I, I kind of use it for that basis. Um, let me see. Ryan, you said you asked your question three times. What was your question? I see this here that you, you asked here. Um, how do you keep from following people more than once if they haven't followed you back? Well, you don't. You're already following them. You can't follow them again. Once you follow someone, you can't re-follow them, right? Um, but if you're saying, yeah, it, it, it's impossible to keep following them. So that's how you do it. Oh, after you unfollow them? Well, there's 20 million people on Alicia Keys' profile. It's very not that likely that you're going to follow the same person. And even if you do, who cares? Just keep going. It doesn't matter. There's no way that you can figure that out. You can't figure out if you've tried to follow someone and then you unfollow them. There's no way to keep track of that. Just keep going. Um, Hakeem says, if I share the same song back to back with a different video, is that spamming? Uh, like I said, change your content, change your comments tell a different story. You know, you can share the video. Here's 30 seconds of the video and then share a different section of the video. Um, but share a story, share something, you know, what it was like to shoot that day, what it was like the day before, what the planning process was like, or what the song is about. You know, I wrote this song about, you know, my boyfriend that broke my heart when I was 16 years old, my first love or whatever it was. Share that, right? Don't just post the same thing over and over again because that's going to get really boring. Um, all right, cool. Smart said, should we use an unfollow app? We've talked about that earlier. A lot of the unfollow apps don't work anymore, but someone was saying that there's one called reports. So I'm going to check that out and then I'll send out, I'll actually, when I send out this replay, I'll let you guys know if it worked for me. Okay. Um, so, uh, some are great question. There are a lot of profiles. I don't have profile pick and a few followers. Should we skip them? Yeah, go ahead and skip those. Cause those are probably bots. Um, I would just skip those entirely. Uh, but for me, I don't go check out other profiles. Um, that's too time consuming, right? Unless you're looking at the people that are engaging, right? Like what we see here. These people are, you know, we have to click on their profiles. So if you click on their profiles and you just see that there's like one post and they have like four followers, you don't need to follow them because they probably are a bot or they're just not very active, right? Um, so I would just say something like that. So. All right, perfect, guys. I know I've had a bunch of questions. People asked if I have a mentorship program. You've asked if I work with the artists. Some of you guys asked if I actually do this for you, if I'll actually follow people for you. Um, that's a, a great question. So I have a few different things. And in fact, I'm going to talk about something because some of you have never been here before. All of my other members of Music Hustler, if you've already, if you're already a member, uh, you don't got to stick around for this. We've already talked about, um, you're already in the group. We already work together once a week. Um, but I did say that, Today, I'm going to give away one free annual membership. I'm going to give away one opportunity to an artist to work with me for the entire next year for free. Okay. Um, is that something that you guys would like? Do you think that that would help? You know, have you guys learned a lot today where even just in this one little hack, if I told you guys I have like hundreds of these things that I've done throughout my, my music career, if I shared these with you and worked with you once a week, and if we were able to work together, do you feel like it would help you? Do you feel like you could grow in your music business and get closer to your dreams? Um, David's saying, please. Lyrical says, yes. David says, yes, yes. Aaron says, home. Uh, Aaron Holmes says, me. William, Tatum, Rob, Rico, Hakeem, Emilio, Lucas, Bella, Jay, everyone's saying that. Bella, you're already in it, girl. You're already here. David, Tatum, Summer says she loves my hair. Thank you, Summer. Uh, Smart, everyone's saying yes. Okay, awesome. Jeffrey, you said you joined, but you haven't been able to go through yet. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. If you're having problems, log in. Logging in and we'll get you set up. Uh, Steven says that would be amazing. Okay, awesome. Isabel said yes, learning so much. Perfect, great. Um, all right, perfect. All right, I'm seeing all this stuff we got into Folly, Summer, Smarts, David, Cesar, David. We got all of you guys, Katja, Hakeem. Yes, awesome. So yes, if you're already a music hustler, I'm going to talk about music hustler. So you guys, this is this is the 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 end of the training, and I'm I'm glad that you guys found so much out of it. But for all of you that are not in music hustler, I want to talk to you about a program that I created where I actually work directly with artists every single week. We actually meet together every Monday, and it's really awesome. So um 
I'm going to share that with you guys really quick, as long as you can still see my screen. And I'm going to give away one free opportunity to work together for a whole year, okay? Because there are many other hacks to grow your fan base. There's hacks to do so many different things, right? And um, what I want to do here is I want to talk to you guys about this program because I created this, you know, earlier in the year, um, especially because of COVID and everything. I, I worked with the artists like one-on-one -on -one and they were very expensive programs and I still do. I still work one-on-one -on -one with artists. I have a client right now and, and literally an $8,000 client. You know, I have these very amazing programs, but I'm also very aware that a lot of artists can't afford that. I could not afford that starting out. I told you guys, I started out on a farm raising pigs and working in a tortilla factory. And most of the stuff that I've learned, I've learned how to build, you know, I built my career and went from zero to making a hundred thousand dollars a year, more than a hundred thousand dollars a year as an artist starting from absolutely nothing. And it took me eight years to figure out. I spent a long time trying to figure out how to create a music career because I didn't have a mentor. There was nobody on YouTube. You know, YouTube didn't exist. Nobody was teaching things like how I'm teaching you guys today, right? That didn't exist. So, um, I want to talk to you guys about who this is for, because if this sounds like you, then this is probably something that you're going to be interested in. So this is for singers, rappers, bands, and independent artists who want to learn how to promote your music. And again, I've built a, a very successful career doing what I love for a living where I don't have to have another boss. And I share that with everyone. I share the things that I've learned. Just like today, I shared with you how to build your uh, Instagram following. Um, this is for artists who want to get your music heard. You know, you have this really great talent. You're just not sure how to get it out there. Uh, this is for artists and bands who want to build a sustainable music career. That means you're not having to work another job to pay for this. Or maybe you love your job and you just want your music to get heard and you're, you just want to kind of do it on the side. That can work for you as well. Um, this is for anyone who wants to turn what they love into a living and any artists who want guidance and real help rather than trying to figure it out on your own. Because that was a hard thing for me was trying to figure out how to do this on my own. It's scary. And the music industry, especially as a female too, is a very scary place. I went through a lot of things that I didn't have to go through because I just didn't know how to navigate through the industry. And I didn't have anyone that I trusted that I could be like, hey, this person said this, is this okay? Is that okay? And I couldn't afford a lawyer. You know, there's just a lot of things that I was like, you know, this is a scary place. Um, whereas now it's really cool because we have access, you know, I'm reaching some of you guys are, I have what people hear from Germany, from France, from all over the world that are here talking to me today and got to go through my training today. And we're able to talk to each other from a distance, which is very, very cool because we have access to each other. Um, this is also for beginners who want to build their career the right way. Okay, maybe you don't wanna have to go through all the crap that other people are going through. And guys, it's possible, like this is the thing that I always tell everyone, you can figure it out on your own. I did, right? I figured it out on my own. It took me eight years though, you know, I, I've mentioned my stories. I mean, I've slept in my car. I have bathed in a gas station. I have uh, done couch surfing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I've slept on basically strangers' couches. There's these communities where you can actually, there's people who open their homes and say, oh, you can sleep on my couch. I did that for many years, right? I did that and it was, it's like this cool hippie community. There was, it's never, it wasn't really, uh, people had reviews and everything. So you made sure it wasn't like some weird house that you were going into, but, I didn't have my own home. I couldn't afford it. You know, I was eating from the dollar menu every day. I had a hamburger and fries for a dollar and six cents from McDonald's every single day. I eventually figured it out, but it was almost a decade of me struggling. That's why I created this program because I wanted to work with artists um, so that you don't have to go through the same thing, right? This is also for experienced artists who are either trying to figure it out or maybe just looking for some more creative ways to build their careers. Uh, these are people who want to build their fans and followers. And this is for artists who want to get on major media. This is a big one. If you guys have been on my other webinars, wanting to get on major media like television, radio, magazines, blogs, websites, and more. That's been a huge thing that we've been covering for the last like six weeks, actually. Um, I just had one of my um, previous students come on and talk to everyone because his very first song he put out, he got on the CW within days. He had never even recorded a song in his life. And uh, we came and I interviewed him and everything. And he had followed some of my uh, methods. And, and first song he ever recorded, he got on the CW on major television, which was really awesome. So I share a lot of these hacks, you know, that I've just figured out on my own um, that I love to share with others. Um, these are for, this is for people who want to make 
uh, money off your music online and people who want to learn how to book paid shows. This is a big one because I would do before I had my son for about how, 10 years almost. I did about 300 shows a year, 200 to 300 shows. I've done even more than that. Paid shows a year all over the world. Um, that's a big one for me. And if you're anything like me, being on stage is probably the best part of being a musician, right? Hearing people sing along with you, knowing that everyone's dancing and, and having a good time because of you was one of the best feelings um, that I ever, uh, ever, ever had. So I'll tell you guys, if that sounds like you, then you're going to want to stick around. You're going to want to hear this. And again, stick around because I'm giving away one free membership for someone to someone to work with me for a whole year. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what's in it. Okay, when you join my Music Hustler Live program, these are some of the things that come with it just as bonuses, right? I told you guys we're going to we meet every week. I do stuff like this where I cover different topics. I cover how to build your career, how to get published, how to make money, how to book paid shows. You know, any questions that you have, I answer. But you also get all these other cool things. Um, so I uh, include a three-step EPK creator. This is what we use to book shows or to send out to managers and record labels. So I show you guys how I've made mine um, in three steps, you know, how I get paid to perform. Um, I also give you guys this really cool thing called a media booking blueprint. This is how I've gotten on Fox and NBC and CBS, Power 106, KISS FM, without a record label, without a manager, without any of those things. Um, I also give you my how to get to paid, paid to perform starter kit. This is the basics of, of how to create your shows, how to reach out to agents, how to get an agent. Someone here earlier said that they got an agency, uh, signed with an agency because they um, went through my resources. That's really awesome. Um, so we have this. I also give my winning booking scripts mega bundle. This is one of my favorite things because I give you guys all the scripts of how I contact people, like my copy and paste emails. Like this is what I say when I reach out to an agent. This is what I say when I reach out to, you know, a potential sponsor. Like here it is, you can just copy and paste it. So you have all of that um, just done for you. Um, I also give you guys this really cool thing. This is how I use this one simple loophole that allows me to book shows locally or around the world without having to audition have a manager or a social media presence. This is also awesome because venues are opening up again. I've seen that the cruise ships are hiring again. I, I've um, one, there was a, a gentleman I worked with named Alex Sugarman. Some of you guys may know him, very cool guy. He reached out to me one week. He was like, we work with me. And you know, we ended up doing a one-on-one -on -one situation. And within two weeks, this was really cool. He was on tour in Jamaica. He was on tour in Jamaica. And uh, they ended up touring, uh, him and his band ended up touring many countries. I think it was like 13 countries or something really awesome uh, within just weeks. And this was one of those big things that we used. And I share this with you guys on how to do that. A lot of you guys and almost everybody in this room has this one. It's my go viral uh, book. This is 4,592 independent magazines, radio stations, music blogs, and Spotify playlists that accept music from independent artists, right? I had a few, someone earlier said that they went from I think it was like 50 to 500 monthly listeners on Spotify by using this, which is really awesome. But you also get the updated versions of these, all right? As I update them, you get them for free. You never have to buy them again. Normally this is 19 bucks just for this one. All of these things are usually around $19 um, each. But you get them for free whenever you're part of the, the group. Um, I also just released this a few months ago. 4,182 more Spotify playlist curators. So these are more, you know, as you is many people's goals are to grow their Spotify. Here's like 4,000 of them, like just separated by genre. You can submit to them. These are all uh, uh, private um, uh, Spotify playlisters. So they created their Spotify playlist and they accept, um, I'm sorry, in, music from independent artists, not private, from independent artists, which is really awesome. Um, and then this one, this one's really cool. Again, I'm just so excited that things are opening up right now. Um, 3,446 fairs and festivals that will pay you to perform in the United States. These are festivals that have budgets. They have money to pay artists. Festivals are so fun. You're on a big stage, there's people out there. And some of these festivals are big and some of them are small. I'm gonna tell you guys, some of those small festivals, they love you. And I have such a good time. Some of my favorite ones are performing in little small towns like in Texas or whatever, because they don't get a lot of performers, right? You're not just another person on the lineup. 
when you jump on that stage, they want, they want, they want to buy your CDs. They want to buy your posters. They want to buy your t-shirts. They want to, they want autographs. They want photos. They want to follow you. They want to take selfies with you and tag you. I mean, they love it. This is one of my favorite things here. Um, this one is um, in the United States. Cause I know I always get that question. Everything else is around the world. Um, this one, and there's another one that mainly focuses on the United States, but this one is um, in the 50 states of the US. So just so that you guys know, cause I know I have some international people in here that might be wondering that question. Um, here, I also have 1,798 record labels, A&Rs, music lawyers that shop record deals, publishers, and more. This is a big one. Even if you don't wanna be uh, signed with a record label, this one's a big one because you have music lawyers, right? We gotta protect our music, or if we're getting into a contract, any type of contract, we wanna protect ourselves. So here's a, a bunch of music lawyers. Not only that, publishers. Publishers are a big one. Publishers are the ones who, uh, if they like your music, they'll pitch your music to movies, video games, you know, um, things like that, commercials. And those can pay like tens of thousands of dollars if you get on those. So that's how like people who have never had a hit song can still make like 10 to 100 grand off of one song getting placed on like a Ford commercial. And see Ford and a lot of these big companies, they like to work with smaller artists because it's less expensive for them. They don't have to pay a big record label. Instead, they get to work directly with the artist. Publishers will do that. That's why I really, really like this particular list because as an independent, if you get signed with a publishing company, um, you absolutely have that opportunity to get your music out there like that. Um, another big one, someone had mentioned earlier that they got signed to an agency based on this book, uh, 494 booking agents who book paid shows for artists, bands, DJs, comedians, speakers, and more. So if you guys got multiple talents, right? If you're an artist and a DJ, they book multiple things and these are separated by state. This one is in the United States right now. I'm working on some more international stuff for you guys, but this one is based in the United States. Um, not only that, I used to get super stressed out about posting on social media. And so I had made myself my own like media planner. And then I thought, if I'm having this much stress over this, I'm sure artists are too. So I created uh, my own media planner um, with 365 days of social media content, right? These are 365 uh, days of memes and questions to ask, ways to get engagement. These are all proven things that I've used to get engagement, you know, how to go live. I also include all the holidays. You know, I include all the holidays so you know what's coming up. I include when the Grammys are and the Super Bowl. So there's all these different ideas for content you know, that's trending, because that's what we want. We want to be talking about trending content. So this gives you a ton of ideas. I even even give you memes and quotes and all kinds of cool stuff. So you get all like all this stuff, guys, this sells by itself for $17. Like I said, all of these, all of these resources here um, usually sell for uh, usually around anywhere from 17 to $19 each. Um, but you get them for free as a bonus when you join today. So uh, Emilio says, I want to sign up already. Perfect, Amelia. Well, I'm about to um, give you that opportunity here in just a sec. I'm going to finish sharing with you guys what's in this. Um, apart from that, my uh, one of my favorite things about this is I have our private Facebook group. This is not open to the public. This is only open to our members. Um, we have about a little bit over 100 members now of, of Music Hustler. And um, this is our private group of a bunch of musicians just like yourself who have taken action in your career, right? You've decided that you're not going to leave it up to everyone else, you know, to come and find us and do it for us. You guys are here because you've taken action. You're not lazy. Like you make up a very small percentage of musicians because so many musicians are just waiting, right? I've always been a hustler. Like I told you guys, I've been on the street selling my music. I've been at fairs and festivals selling my music. Like I, I'm always hustling. So I love to find other artists that are not scared to work hard. And I wanted to create a community where we could all meet, right? Where we don't just have a bunch of like people kind of joining, trying to, you know, uh, just take advantage, I guess. But here we are, um, this is a private Facebook group where you can find other artists, rappers, producers, uh, singers, people like yourself who have decided to take a chance on themselves and self-educate ourselves, right? That's what's great about right now is it's the perfect time to be an independent musician because we have big artists like Chance the Rapper, we have, you know, all these big artists that are winning Grammys and stuff that aren't signed to a record label. We know that the opportunity is here as an independent. So I wanted to create a community for it. Um, not only that, we have our weekly live calls and replays. 
right? We have a, you actually get to, you get to sign in, you have a name and a password, you sign in and you get to find all of the replays. So if you miss a week, it's fine. You'll actually be able to watch the replays and these are exclusive. So these are um, exclusive to our members. Um, I, I, I invite people on, like I told you, um, I had um, uh, one of my students who went through this, uh, went through my training um, and he got, he got um, published on CW and he came and actually told everybody his process. He said, this is what I did. This is how I got published in three days on the CW. This is how, you know, I got on a major television network with my first song that I ever put out. I'm going to show you guys a, a picture of him here in a little while. You guys can even check him out. You'll be able to reach out to him too. So I created Music Hustler Live, right? It's for all of us that make music. We're not afraid to hustle. We're not afraid to work hard. And um, overall, if this is, Arnaud says it was Marcel. Yes, you remember his name and everything. Good job, Arnaud. So this is my promise to you, okay? I hold your hand through the process just like I did today. You know, like what I did today, this is exactly what I do every Monday. I just sit here and I answer questions and I show you guys how to do it. I'll turn my, share my screen. I show you how I do whatever it is that you're asking of me, right? So I like to share that. I enjoy it. Um, I'll also answer your questions so that you're not overwhelmed or left to figure out things on your own. I was left to figure out things on my own growing up and it was a very scary place. And so um, I like to, to provide that for artists now to you know, hopefully give you a safe place to ask me whatever it is and I'll share with you from my experience what I've experienced. And if I don't have the answer for you, you know what I love? I have tons of friends that are successful in this business and um, that uh, I'm actually about to post our calendar very soon. We have, um, I have some friends that have you know, one, one of my friends has almost 2 billion plays on Spotify now, uh, you know, platinum producers, songwriters. I'm about to post our calendar of guest speakers that we have that you guys are also able to ask questions. I've never had a multi-platinum album, right? So I bring people that have so they can answer those questions for you as well. I'm going to reveal the latest and greatest strategies that I've learned. I'm always testing out new things, always testing out new things platforms, marketing strategies, and I will share my results with you and how you can apply it to your career. Just like I shared with you today, how I've used the follow and follow method, right? And then I've discovered a few things in the process. I share all that with you. I'm an open book. I really, really like for you guys to learn. And I'm gonna give you guys the attention that you won't find anywhere else. I'm sharing everything that I have with you. I give you guys everything I have. Uh, I don't withhold info like a lot of artists. I know there's a lot of artists out there that have found success um, that keep it to themselves. I like to think there's enough room for us all to be successful. Everybody loves music. It's not like there's like five people in the world that like music. Everybody does. There's plenty of room for us all to be successful, right? But your promise to me, okay? Because you got to make a promise to me too. So this is where you got to make sure that this fits you. That you're going to show up for the trainings with a positive mindset and open mind. I like to work with people who are go-getters, right? I like to, because for me, like growing, like we grew up in government housing right? I, I told this before, but I thought rich people ate Lunchables, okay? My mom, because she knew that I loved Lunchables so much, she used to take the ham and she would cut it into squares and she would cut the cheese into squares and she would cut, you know, different things into squares and um, put the little crackers and she put it in a little Ziploc bag. And uh, because I wanted Lunchables, you know, but I, I always knew that even though everyone around me didn't have money, we all lived in government housing. I had a positive mindset and that's why I was able to do what I've done. And so I like to work with people who are also very positive and very, you know, believe in themselves. Um, that you're going to do the work that I've laid out for you, right? If you, if you want results, you have to do the work. You got to be able to, to, to say, I'm committed. This is our dream. We got a big dream, like to do music for a living. That's a big dream, guys. That's not like some little thing. You need to be able to accomplish that. You got to do the work. Just like today, some of you did the work right when we were on the call and you got results right away. Some of you guys got results right now. That's very cool. A lot of the stuff I'm gonna show you, you get results right now, but some of it, it may take you a while to get those results. But as long as you do those things I show you, you will get results. And then you're gonna go into this believing wholeheartedly that you can achieve the results that you desire if you stay committed so I can help you create the career that you deserve. And the last thing and the most important thing you promise me that you're going to accept responsibility for creating great music, okay? Because I can teach you all my ways, but if you don't have great music, I can't help you any further, right? As long as you have your great music and you apply my methods, it will work, okay? But you're responsible for that part. I can't help you with that. I don't help with the songwriting and all that kind of stuff. I help with 
that I, I just expect you guys to give me a piece of you, work hard, create some great content, and then I'll show you what to do with that content, okay? So uh, Kevin says, is there a replay for this? There will be Kevin. Yes, I will be sending that out to everybody that signed up for this. So don't worry about it. Uh, Derek said, I appreciate your transparency. I know it's not easy and I appreciate how informative this is. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to introduce you guys to a couple people. Uh, this is Marcel. This is a, he actually came on um, a little while uh, on the, um, I think not the last one, the Monday before he came out and uh, he was the one that was published on the CW. He was published his very first song he ever put out, got published on the CW within just a couple days. He just followed that uh, media booking blueprint that I have that you guys are going to get for free when you sign up today. Um, and he he made it on there. He was really, really an awesome someone that I've actually worked with for a long time. We've actually performed together in Las Vegas. We've um, performed at the Paris Casino and a few other places as well. Uh, Troy's one of my favorite people. Troy came to me when um, he ha didn't have any shows. He had just lost his job. He was living with his grandma. Uh, and he's just been awesome, super hard worker, man. One of the hardest workers that I've I've met, really. Um, and quickly within the first month, uh, we were focusing on on you know I was helping him with booking shows and that sort of thing. And he went through my course that I have on uh, inside the membership. Booked, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it was like four shows a week. He had four shows a week booked. So he had like every Wednesday he was performing at this place, every one, Friday he was performing at this place, every Saturday he was performing. I mean, he just really kicked butt. And whenever I'd met him, he had no shows. He went from zero to four shows a week within 30 days. I mean, just really kicked butt. Just love, love, love when I meet people that are this excited and this passionate, right? And what you can do when you have the resources, if you just apply the work, the results that you can have. Uh, one of my favorite groups that I've worked with are Los Five. A very, very amazing group of, of boys. When they came um, to me, they were all living in a one-bedroom apartment. They had uh, two um, uh, bunk beds, and then there was a mattress under one of the bunk beds that they would pull out. All five of them slept in a one-bedroom apartment. I don't know how they managed this. Insane. But they all had a huge dream. And I used to put on this show in Hollywood um, once a week, and I did it for years. And I booked hundreds of artists there. And uh, one day they all walked in and they were just the cutest boys. The one in the middle, he was like 16 years old and, um, you know, and they, and they performed and I thought they were really awesome. And, and we worked together and, um, you know, started, you know, guiding them in a lot of different things, ended up getting them signed to Capitol Records within weeks. This was a crazy one. This one was like probably the most crazy success story I think that, that um, we've had because these, because where they started and how far they went in such little time. Um, help them. They were booking shows at schools. Um, they were on TV right away. They got a record deal with Capitol Records. I mean, this one was huge. Um, not only that, they headlined at iHeartRadio. Um, here's their um, name at the back of their, uh, you know, Los Five. They were so cool. I mean, if you guys know about iHeartRadio, that's like where Nicki Minaj and Drake and all these really big um, artists headline, uh, which was really dope because them as a bunch of boys who were living in a one bedroom apartment suddenly on tour, record deal. Um, you know, got their own house, built a studio. I mean, they were just suddenly working with all these incredible producers. I mean, they just really kicked butt. Um, so they did really incredible. And not only that, one of the coolest things, they were on the Today Show. So here they are on the Today Show there on the left. And um, radios, uh, radio station interviews, you know, they, they were traveling all over the world. They were in Mexico a lot in South America and um, really, really cool stuff, performing in all over the country. You know, just really, really cool experience for them. So this was uh, this was really, really awesome um, to see them get results so fast. So before COVID, um, working with me personally, um, each of these, I, I got paid thousands of dollars here. And usually it is anywhere from two to $17,000 to work with me personally. Okay. That's not what it's going to be to join this. Um, I decided to put together a program where I could work with you guys uh, every week. You know, we all meet weekly instead of, you know, something like this where I was working with them every day. Instead, I wanted to create something where it would make sense because I know that as artists, it's hard for us. I told you guys my story. It was hard for me. I could have never afforded something like that. So I created something called Music Hustler Live, and I plan on selling this for $97 a month. Okay. And the, but the, we're not going to do this now. The most amazing thing about this is that I'm looking for just a few 
more members to grandfather in. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to be doing this for only $27 a month. For $27 a month, you're going to be getting all of those things that I told you about. We're going to meet every week on Mondays. Um, we're going to, it's, we get our private Facebook group. You get all of those lists of record labels and ARs and media. And I'm telling you guys, we put thousands of hours into those. Those were thousands of hours of research. If you guys have ever tried to look up music blogs, it will take you hours just to get like 30. And we're giving you thousands of them. Um, a lot of the people here, thank you guys so much for sharing, by the way, um, some of your results. Um, Alex, you were sharing, you know, how you went from 30 to 1,000 followers. I had someone else talking about how they went from, you know, 50 monthly listeners to 500 monthly listeners. I had another band say that you guys got signed to an agency. Um, that is really awesome um, because this is a, a really incredible opportunity. I have the website right here, musichusterlive.com backslash register. I know a lot of you guys were saying, I'm already ready to sign up. Aaron, you said, oh my God, yes, please. Kevin says, thank you. Amelia, Amelia says, this is great. Um, awesome. Yes, so right here, can you guys see that okay? Can you guys see the the where you can register? Not only that, um, it's $27 a month, or you can pay for the whole year. For the whole year, it's only $97. So if you guys know that you're going to be around for the whole year, that this is something you're committed to, this is something that you've decided, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make this happen, it makes sense for you to do the year because you save um, more money. Uh, $27 a month, if maybe you just wanted to try it out. Um, Arnaud said, yes, this is for my goals. Alex says, you signed up and it's definitely worth it. You highly recommend. Awesome. Very, very cool. So if you want to sign up, you just need to go to musichustlerlive.com backslash register. I'll show you guys what it looks like. But before I go there, I want to add one last thing. Um, I am a huge supporter of artists and a huge supporter of musicians. I want you guys to win. And I know that I'm flattered that you guys are here with me because I know there's a lot of other places that you could be, right? And as you um, think about joining today, one thing I wanted to offer was one last thing, just so that you guys know that I am on your side here. Um, I offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you guys join today and you decide that it's not for you, could even come to our meetings every week for a whole month. If you decide after a whole month of joining me that this isn't helping you, then I just give you your money back. No questions asked. So there's no risk to you guys. If you're an artist, you're a producer, a singer, a rapper, a band, you know, I tell you guys that for me, I built my career from scratch, from making nothing to making six figures. I didn't have a record label. I didn't have a manager. I didn't have a mentor. I had to build everything from scratch. So some of you, wherever you're at, I've been there. I've slept in my car. I've had to sell you know, my music on the streets. I've done a lot of different things. So the knowledge that I have for you comes from a place where I started with nothing. It's not like I had someone hand me anything and I don't know what it's like to struggle. I'm here no matter what stage you are. I have had a lot of success now. I've had a very cool career. So I also help with help people with um, I actually run ads for a lot of other companies and stuff like that. So if you guys got more advanced questions, I have all that as well. So there's a guaranteed 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk here. You guys get to come in, you get to come see what it's like every Monday. Um, or you can join the yearly one, which is $97 a year. And um, if you decide it's not for you, I give you your money back. But I promise you, if you come to these meetings, you come with an open mind and you you know, just follow the steps that I share, you will see results. I mean, so many people on here saw results while we were on our Zoom call, which I think is awesome that some of you guys did this while you were here because you guys saw like you get results right away. Right away you get results on a lot of this stuff. Um, Tatum says there's two sections for $27 a month. Uh, no Tatum, actually it's the same thing. Watch, I'll show you really quick. Uh, let's see here. Music Register. So when you register, this is what you're going to see. Let me go down here. This is all included. So these aren't two different programs. These are the exact same things. Um, so what you would do is here, these are just two different buttons depending on whether you're going to sign up with credit card or PayPal. So PayPal is here, credit card is here. So what you do is you, cl you click here and you guys can see this, right? Yeah. 
um, when you click, that's when you can choose to do the annual membership or the monthly membership. So you save um, $227 when you do the $97 payment. And then the monthly is $27 a month. Both come with the 30 day money back guarantee. So no matter what, you get the 30 day money back guarantee. And then you get all of those things that I showed you, right? You get this, this is the how to get your music and media. You get the course on how to book paid shows. You get the social media content planner and then you get all our lists of booking agents and fairs and festivals and you know all the websites and blogs that will publish you, the record labels and the publishers and the music lawyers, the Spotify playlist, you get all of those things. And you get to join the private Facebook group. These are some of the people that I've worked with. Um, I have some really cool testimonials on here. Um, and then of course, you guys have seen some of the bigger, I showed you guys some of the bigger success stories that I've had, uh, which I probably should add to this, right? I don't know why I haven't added those on here. I need to add those because those are even bigger ones, right? Um, and then we do our weekly webinars once a week where you guys can come on. And you can, and honestly, you guys can ask me anything. Like if some of you guys are on here, you know, from my, my webinar, you guys ask anything. I'm here just sharing as much as I know and as much as I can. We cover a lot of different topics. I'm usually on there a couple hours covering so many different things. Um, let me see here. Uh, will the same 97 for the year be available in the morning? Um, I know it's about to go up. So we're just, we're about to reach our hundred members. So once we meet our hundred members, it's going to go up. So just as long as you sign up before that, I think we're like eight members away. So I would suggest signing up as quickly as you can, um, just because it is gonna go up. Uh, STBG said, awesome, congratulations to you. Hakeem says, registration completed. Awesome, Hakeem. So Hakeem, when you registered uh, here in a few minutes, you should get a welcome email. It'll show you, it'll give you your, your name and your login information. You're gonna be able to get all of those resources. You can download all of these resources already right away. And then, you can join our Facebook group. I highly recommend joining our Facebook group right away because I post lots of updates in there. I let you know when we do our Monday meetings and that sort of thing. If for any reason you don't get your, your registration email right away, just hit me up on Instagram and we'll take care of you, okay? Um, Emilio says, are the books electronic or mailed? They're all electronic, Emilio, and the reason being is because you can just click on the emails, right? Let's say you want to email a record label, you just click on it. Because you don't want to have to sit there and look at the book and write it down. And then now there's, you maybe you wrote it down wrong or you forgot an underscore or whatever it is. And we keep these updated. They're updated every few months. So we, you know, obviously it's way easier on a PDF. Uh, Tatum says, I wanted to try it out for a month or two, but then I realized I want to join the full year. Uh, yeah, Tatum, actually you can. So uh, what is your email? Put your email in there and then I'll just contact you and I can just send you um maybe just an invoice for the remainder, and then I'll sign you up for the 97. I'll have to manually do that. So that's no problem at all. Just put your email in the chat. Uh, William says, what time are the webinars usually? They're usually on Mondays at one. So they're usually on uh, Mondays at one Pacific Standard Time. Um, Sakura says, wow, we're close to 100 now. We are Sakura. We're like, like literally like eight away. We're very close. If you look at the Facebook group, we're, we're it's, right there we're almost at our full 100 members which is really cool because this barely started like six weeks ago so this is growing you know it's really awesome so uh tatum says you're going to try it out okay awesome uh, you want the 97 dollar one um so everyone else is putting their email what do you why are y'all putting your email because i actually only asked um there was only one person that wanted me to email them because they wanted the 97 dollar for the year if you want the $97 year one, you don't need to send me your email. You can just sign up on the page. So I have David, you sent me your email and STBG, you sent me your email, but I don't know why you guys sent me your email. Um, if you want the $97 one, you can just sign up on the page. So it's it's um, it's literally right here, makes it super easy. So, and I need to write that on there because I know that can be confusing. All you have to do if you watch this, look, if you just click on the card on the sign up, you know, then you click right there. So. Sorry if it's a little confusing. I need to I need to write that on there, right? Because there's no way to know that. And if you're signing up by PayPal, it's the same thing. You just clean up, uh, click here, and then you can sign up right there. Uh, Kevin says, can you? Oh yeah, actually, my bad. There it is, musichusterlive.com backslash register. So it's right there um, for you guys. Masood said you joined for the year. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. These are really fun. Like I have a really good time with these. 
because we cover so much content. Like we cover, like we literally just finished covering how to get in media and now we're moving on to like Instagram followers. And so, I mean, just lots of random things. Uh, Smart says you need to get the year. Um, yeah, you can do that on the page. Smarts, did you have any particular question about that? Um, let me see, or was that, I'm trying to remember right now. Whose picture of the email did I just take? Um, let me see. Okay, the link, oh, you said, how do you sign up? You can't find the link. It's on the page now. Sorry about that. Um, musichustlerlive.com backslash register. Um, Alexander says, happy to be a part of the group. Totally worth it. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Like, I, I, I really try to give all that I can. It makes me feel good. I enjoy it. Uh, Willie says, what if you're at work around the time of the webinar? Willie, I send out a replay. So I always send a replay. And not only that, because you're part of the Facebook group, you can also post any questions that you have in the group. And I go through there and I answer those questions. So that's okay too. I always go through there. Um, Jay said, is the more Spotify playlist available for purchase separately or only for members? Um, Jay, yeah, you can buy that separately. Um, if you go to, um, if you, if you want to go to it, it's, gosh, where is it? I think it's, I don't even remember where it's at. What's your email? And I'll send it to you. I can't remember what the link is. Um, and then I can send it to you. Okay, Jay Ross, let me see. No problem. I'll send that to you. Yeah, I haven't even really been advertising it, but yeah, it's another 4,000 Spotify playlisters. That was a big one. So um, like I said, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if any of you guys are, you know, just want to try it out, I encourage you to try it out. You know, you tried me out today. Um, you're probably here because you got something really cool out of it. So um, I would highly recommend checking it out. There's no pressure here. Come join us. Come join the squad, as our nod says, the MHL International Squad. Come join us. And um, if you like it, you can stick around. And if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back, right? Because it's, I promise you, if you use what the methods that I share, you're going to see some really cool results. Um, let's see here. Now, do you guys have any questions about it? You know, I've had a few people ask some questions. If you're looking at this and you're going, mm, I don't know if I want to sign up, you know, how can I help you? Is there something that you have uh, that you're wondering about? or that you're uh, trying to figure out. Uh, Tatum says, just joined the family for my first month. Uh, once you hit 100 people, if I'm doing monthly, will the price go up? No, Tatum. So um, once you join, uh, the price will not go up for you. It's just going to go up for everybody else. Um, you've already signed up at this rate, so it's not going to go up anymore. Um, it'll stay the same for you. Uh, STB just says, thank you for all your help and support. Thank you for joining. I had a good time. This was the first um, webinar that I taught on Instagram followers, by the way, though. So this was cool. This one was a fun one. I, I never know how it's going to go. I never know if, you know, if I make my slides good. Hey, are these going to work for people? Like, are they going to understand them? But I love that you guys asked questions to me today because it helps me understand how to, you know, what to talk about next time as well. Um, David says, I'm releasing my first EP this year. I've been streaming on Twitch. Can I use this IG method to bring people to Twitch until I release my album? I don't know. I'm not really on Twitch, David. I'm sorry. I'm not the person to ask about that platform. I know almost nothing about it. Um, Kevin says, when I went to join, it only went to the webinar and not registration. Uh, well, you probably went to musichusterlive.com. That's probably why, Kevin. Uh, you need to go to musichusterlive.com backslash register. Try that one because that's going to, that's going to, uh, work better for you. Let me know if that works. So you have to go to backslash register or forward backslash. I always get those mixed up. Is it backslash or forward backslash? I think it's forward backslash, right? Um, Sakura says on Twitch, no, because you can't see other people. So Sakura is saying no for Twitch. I don't know though, because I, I don't, I'm not on Twitch. I don't really know. If you can't see other people's profiles and stuff like that, well then no, it wouldn't really be a good investment of time for this particular method and reasoning, but I don't really know anything about Twitch, so I'm not your person to um, do that. William says, you're excited for this, ready to work. Awesome. Make sure to join the Facebook group right away and I'll, I'll be in there, I'll be accepting everybody. Raina says, thank you for all the information you have shared, really enjoyed your presentation. Thanks, Raina. I'll be doing like, I'll be doing some cool ones. Like besides the Mondays that we do, I also do Fridays. So every like four to six weeks, I'm also gonna change what I teach on Fridays too. So there's like, a plethora of information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, right? But Mondays 
are very personalized. Monday, I answer whatever questions you have personally for me on whatever topics you have. And also, if you're on, if you're part of Music Hustler Live, uh, you're going to be able to download these slides from today. Okay, so you can actually take these slides. Uh, I'm going to have them in the Facebook group profile, and you'll be able to download the whole presentation if you want to review it. So you don't have to watch the whole. How long have we been here today? Almost three hours, right? This is a three-hour presentation. I'm going to send uh, all the um, members these slides so that you can go over it uh, quickly. Um, Jay says, your fairs and festivals, are they only in America? Yes, Jay, the fairs and festivals and the agents listing, those are mostly just United States, okay? But all the other ones, the Spotify playlisters, go viral, you know, how to get your music on websites and blogs, record labels, publishing companies, lawyers, they don't care where you're from, okay? Those are all worldwide. But the fairs and festivals and the agents, those are mainly just focused in the United States. I, I'm going to work on getting some international ones. It just takes a really long time, guys. It's like thousands of hours of research. But I do plan on doing it. Uh, Tatum says, do we start Monday the 5th for the call? Yes, right away, Tatum. We do it every single Monday. So you're going to get to join in on Monday and um, join the fun like right away. So it'll just be in a few days, so right after this weekend. So get ready for it. David, you signed up to the playlist. Cool. The playlist. So, um, musichusterlive.com backslash register. Emilio signed up. Congratulations, Emilio. Do you guys have any questions about this? I'm looking at the chat. Masood says, what time for East Coast? I think that's 4 o'clock your time because it's 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Jay says, when does this offer end? It ends when we hit 100 members. I think we're at like 92 members, but according to here, like five people signed up. So there's probably like three more slots left. Um, so I would recommend signing up because uh, it's going to go up. Uh, Kara says you signed up. Awesome, Kara. I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Join that Facebook group. Uh, let me know if you have any problems logging into the, the membership area. Like I said, you should get an email in a few minutes. Sometimes it takes up to 10 minutes with uh, your information, your password and everything so you can log in. Um, let me know if you have any problems, just hit me up on Instagram, okay? musichusterlive.com backslash register. David says, do you rate, wait till you release the album to start the membership? No, David, it it's, doesn't matter if you have an album, you just need music, right? So you never even have to make an album to benefit from this, right? We wanna, in fact, what I'd say is, if you waited to build your fans and followers, until you had your album, well, who are you gonna send your album to? You don't have any fans or followers, right? The most important thing is for us to build up our fans and followers so that when we have an album to release, we already have a following, right? That's why a lot of these methods work really well because if you don't have an album yet, let's build that following while you're working on your album. So when you drop your album, there's thousands of people that are gonna exposed to that right away. Whereas if you don't have a fan base, who's gonna to listen to it, right? So that's, it's a good concept for you to start already. Um, Carrie, you received your email. Awesome. Terrence said you signed up. Awesome. Congratulations. I'll see you guys on Monday. Hakeem says you're trying to find the Facebook page. Um, it should be in the email because it's private. It doesn't show up in the searches in the email. There should be a link to it. Okay. So there should be a link in there. If you still have any problems, DM me, but there should be a link in that email. Um, Tatum says, you're so hype. Jay said, like your fairs and festivals, Spotify playlists. Uh, what was your question? You said, oh, are they uh, down downloadable? Yes, right away. So as soon as you get your email and it has your name and your password, you can log into your membership profile and uh, you can download those resources right away, immediately. They're right there for you. Uh, Andre, you're here for 12 months. Yay, I'm excited. I love that. Cause I was like, I was a little girl, like there's no way I'm not doing music. Like I was three, like I'm gonna be famous mom. So I was always like hooked. So when people come in and they're like, I'm locked in, I get excited. I get excited. Cause there's so much that we can do. I mean, you saw how excited I get when people are like, I got results, I got results right now. I got all this, I love that stuff. Um, Periel says, I signed up for the year. You are so down to earth, sincere and relatable, thanks. Thank you. I like, I try to make this like as 
laid back as possible because I, I hate when I go to like webinars and I feel like it's all proper and I can't talk. You know, I just I, I get all scared and I don't want anybody to judge me. So that's why I'm always here, like ask me questions, say whatever you think. So um, thank you so much for sharing that with me because that makes me feel good. I've done my job. Um, Jay signed up for the monthly. Awesome. Um, let's see here. See if there's any other questions that you guys have. OK, perfect. So um, I'm going to keep this up here. Uh, if you guys have questions, Jay, you want to try it out and hopefully it works out. Awesome. You know, have the mentality that it's going to work out. OK, there's not a hope because if you if you like, hopefully it works out. You don't always give your best effort. Right. Because sometimes we're like, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm telling you, it's worked for me. It's worked for me starting from absolutely nothing. Right. And it's worked for so many of the people I shared with you, some of those other artists who started with absolutely nothing. But they believed that it would work. And because they believed it, they gave it 100%. And when you give something 100%, there's just, for me, it was, if this doesn't work, I don't want anything at all. This has to work. I will die trying. The things I'm going to show you in this membership, if you apply them, and as long as you have good music, that's your responsibility, right? You got to have good stuff. But as long as you apply it, you're going to see wonders happen. Like, really, really, you'll be amazed. Uh, David, you signed up for the month. Awesome. Uh, Jay says, always skeptical a lot. We are. I know. I get it. I get it. You guys don't know me. Some of you guys have never met me before, so I understand. But um, just know that in, in all that you do, you need to give it, you know, all that you have. To be a musician, we're asking for us to do the one thing that we love most for a living. That's pretty bold, like it is. So for us to want to do that, we have to give it everything, right? So as we go through this, that's why I was saying earlier, if you sign up, you have to come in wholeheartedly believing that you can do this because if you don't you're not going to get results it's a lot of this right i've always said this so much as musicians we go through a lot of self-doubt we go through am i good enough is my song good enough am i too this am i not cute enough am i too old am i too blah am i too whatever you know there's all these things going on there are so many people that have just gone against the grain right those those things where everyone says you have to be you know, a size one, and then you have someone like Adele come and blow everybody out of the water, right? Biggest album of the year. She didn't listen to what people said. Like, that's where I'm like always so inspired. You know, for me, like a big thing, I, I, I show everyone, I was nine months pregnant performing at big casinos like Aria. Everyone told me if I ever got pregnant, my career would be over. No one would want to book me. I remember I got flown to Philadelphia for a show when I was seven months pregnant. It was right before my doctor was like, you can't fly anymore. I was still headlining shows at seven months. I gained 40 pounds. I was all big. People told me I couldn't do that. And I still did as I was pregnant, singing on stage. Hey, Chad. Um, David says, you paid monthly, but where do I sign in? You'll get an email, David. So you'll get an email of where to sign in. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. So just give it some time. And then uh, Tatum says, where will this video be posted to rewatch? I will send out a replay, okay? That usually comes in between about 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours um, after where uh, we do this. So you will get the replay. If you're signed up for Music Hustler, you're also gonna get the slides from here. You're also gonna get the, the PowerPoint slides um, so that you can review them. Um, or nod, Farmer Facebook, I know, so funny, right? Smart said you paid for the year, very cool. Can't wait to see you in the group chat, smart. Uh, Masood said he already sent a request for the Facebook group. Perfect. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do one thing. Uh, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one person to give an annual membership to. Now, if you've already paid, I'm gonna refund your money if you get chosen, okay? Are you guys ready for that? I'm gonna give one person a free membership for the whole year, an annual membership. You guys, Would you guys like if I did that? And if you already bought, I'll refund your money. So don't worry if you already signed up. Everyone's saying yes. Lyrical, Masood, Tatum, William, Jay. Awesome. Katja, Jerry, Katja. Okay, cool. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's see here. I think I have it on my slides. Do I have it on here? I guess I don't. Okay, this is what I'll do. Uh, let's see, control D, I think is what it is. Let me write it here. This is what I'm gonna do right here. I'll just write it on the screen. I'm gonna post something on Instagram, 
And okay, this is my Instagram, or you can go to Instagram.com. I'm going to post a video, and what I want you guys to do today, I just want you to share um, what you thought of the webinar today. You're going to give me a one through ten. One, it sucked. Ten, it was amazing. Hopefully, you thought it was amazing. Um, you're going to post what you thought about today's webinar, and you're going to post like if you had like a big moment where you're like, oh, that makes sense. You know, was did something, you know, make sense to you? Let me uh, let me see if this is it right here. Hold on. Today's webinar. This is it. Hold on. I think this is it. All right, cool. It is. So I'm going to share this post. I'm in a pink shirt and there's a big door behind me. And what I want you to do is I want you to just Tell me what was it that kind of hit you today? Because I mean, some of you guys maybe have tried the follow and follow method and you're like, oh man, I just never knew that I needed to find artists like me and follow them. Or I never knew to reach out and comment on, you know, look at comments. Or maybe I never thought about designing my Instagram a certain way. You know, what was it that made you go, okay, that makes sense now. You know, I get it. So I don't know if it's popped up yet. Let me see. My Instagram is so weird. Let me see. It'll be a video of me. Let me see. Are you guys seeing it? Is it popping up on your Instagram? So David, you said, what's my Instagram? I have it on the screen. So it's at Christine Morell or Instagram.com backslash Christine Morell. So it should be up. I don't know if it's not showing up. It should be a video, the very first post. You guys aren't seeing it anyway. Okay, let me try again then. I'm doing something wrong here. What am I doing? Why isn't this posting? Let me try it again. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I put it in my stories. That's why. Say so doing. Okay, post. There, that's what I did wrong. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. You'd think I would know what I was doing, right? Okay, now it's posting. All right, so you're gonna put on a scale of one to 10 what you thought of the webinar, and then just share if there was like a moment where you went, oh, I get it now, or and share how you feel about it. Share here, I finally feel like I can get results. Or, hey, if you tried it out, you know, some of you guys tried it out, put that. Say, I tried out your method, and I got five followers while I was on the Zoom call. You know, share that with me, share that um, so that other people can see it too, because I like for other people to see this, because I like for people to join. You know, I like to help as many people as I possibly can. So it's there now. So it's that very first post. I have the, it's me, like there's a little play button. Um, yep, STVG, yes. I think you've been to another one of my webinars then because you're saying everything you go through is your testimony and what you go through might help somebody. Uh, David says you can't find it. Uh, it's there now. So it is there. Sorry about that, guys. That was my fault. So um, Instagram is at Christine Morell. You guys have, I'm going to give you like five minutes, okay? So you got to post something, post whether it was a one through 10, whether one you found it not helpful at all, or 10 you found it super helpful, especially to some of you guys that have already tried it and already gotten results. Man, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's probably something I should do in the future. Like you can try it while we're on this call right now. You'll get followers. Um, Jay says you already posted. Awesome. Let me see. I'll start looking and I'll see if you guys have already posted stuff on here. Uh, you know, it's not popping up there. It needs to be on the video. I think that one's the right one. Oops, that's the wrong one. I did this wrong again, guys. Here, forgive me. What am I doing here? Let me try this one more time. I'm sorry. Post. Gosh, how did I get this wrong again? Hold on. Without a hit song, without anything like that. On a scale from one to ten, comment below and share with me what was your big light bulb moment. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. This is it right here. Okay, I'll give you guys five minutes. Post on there. It's posting right now. And I apologize if you had already commented on the other one. I think it gotten cut off. 
Um, and then I'm going to choose a random person on here. But I want you to just share, you know, share what it was that you felt today. If you feel like now, hey, here's a possibility for you to gain followers. You know, one of the guys, Alex, I don't know if you're still here, went from 30 followers to a thousand in just a few days. Like that's insane. Alex, if you're still here, we definitely have to interview you for that, which is awesome. Um, Arnaud says it's 1 a.m. there where you're at. You're exhausted, but thank you for attending, Arnaud. Very awesome of you to be here. And happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes, it is Easter weekend, right? Isn't that crazy? Um, so yes, let's do that. You, yeah, I Emilio, mean, it was in my story. Um, that was my fault. Thank you for pointing that out. So I'm like, why did I do that? I knew I had it. So it is on my profile now though. So comment on that very first video on my Instagram. I'm gonna choose one person. I'm gonna give you a free yearly membership to work with me for the whole year. Jay said he posted again. Okay, awesome. Yeah, David, sorry, I had posted the wrong video. So you have to repost it. I apologize, that was my fault. So if you post it again, there we go. I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes to post and I'll start reading them. Let me see what we got here. I apologize. I know you already posted, but I have to. I have to do it. Uh, Arnaud says you're going to send French chocolate. Don't send it to the address on the on the um, email list. I will take the French chocolate though, Arnaud. I will take it. But I'll um, I'll show you guys. I'll I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll give you where you can send it because I'm not going to turn down French chocolate. Okay. Which, by the way, European chocolate is the best chocolate period. It blows our chocolate out of the water. Okay, let me get this. Hold on, because for some reason it's not showing up. Okay, we got 16 comments already. Awesome. All right, Sizzleville says this webinar is a 10, really informative, and we'll be trying what I learned later today. Thank you so much. Awesome. David says the webinar was brilliant. Thank you. I tried the method and straight away started getting new followers. Awesome. Yay. Uh, the Really Lyrical Love, excellent webinar today. I give you a full 10. It was so informative and I learned so much about Instagram following methods. I felt like it was a one-on-one -on -one panel. Awesome. I'm so grateful that artists like you are taking the time to share the game. Yay. Uh, Stadio of Stamina, 11 out of 10. Hey, I'll take that. Um, as always, would never have thought to show BTS stuff to my fans who knew I didn't have to show perfect professional content all the time. This is true. And it goes a longer way than professional content. Honestly, the non-professional stuff, I get way better reactions and comments and engagement because people like, I, oh, I'll give you an example, right? Someone today was like, you're so down to earth. We really enjoyed being here. Imagine if I was so professional and like, all right, got this. this is what we're going to do. It's not the same type of experience, right? People like to know you're human, so it's definitely a good one. You already gained 100 new followers today and counting. Hey, awesome. That's so great. I'm so glad. Uh, Kat just says, attend again. I have nine new followers while on the webinar. Sure, tomorrow morning it's much more as it's past midnight here in Germany. You know how cool this is? Like, everyone's getting followers, like, right now. Uh, the course, uh, Whiskey says, the course was an easy 11 mate recommended. Awesome. Thank you. Vento said, I give it a nine out of 10. You elegantly laid out the foundation of setting up an Insta built for success, then do the follow and follow obvious or genius, maybe both, you know? It's real, I mean, it really is like, it's simple, right? But people don't go through those steps. That's the thing, they don't, they just go straight to the follow and follow, but it's like, no, and then they just follow random people. It's really like common sense once you get it, but people aren't doing it, that's what's so crazy. Kesha says, the webinar was a 10, such great information. I never thought to try and connect with my potential fans by finding them connecting with similar artists. I will implement the strategies in this call ASAP. Yay, and then post your, post your progress, you know? Uh, Piano Man says, I attended a webinar and you she could help my music career. Uh, Kat just says, attend again. I have nine new followers while on our webinar. Sure, tomorrow morning. Oh, I already read that one. Um, Sakura says, oh, Sakura's already a member. She said, hey, I don't need the one year, but just showing some love, 10, 10, 10, post style. Thank you, Sakura. Solo said 10 out of 10. I knew about the method, but when you mentioned the part about targeting the followers that comment, that's something I never thought of doing. I know, right? Isn't that a good one? Thank you for expanding this method for me. Awesome. Freeze Zombie says it was a 10 for me. Big takeaway is to follow people that are already fans of similar artists as myself. I already interact, but following them would encourage the follow back. Yep. Abhop says over 9,000. I did it while in class and already got some followers, about five. Awesome. See, that, that's what I love about this method is you it just works right away. Love Periel says 10, thank you. Joanna says, I give the webinar a 10. I was able to get five followers within minutes. 
perfect. I look forward to getting more followers considering my EP is coming out April 24th. Oh, hell yeah. That's great, Joanna. You'll get a lot more followers by then. If you do this every single day, I mean, think about that. You know, the Alex who got, um, you know, a thousand followers within days. That's a big jump from 30 to a thousand followers, a big jump, especially within days. Let me see if there's other comments here. I always have to exit out of my Instagram and then open it again for whatever reason to get refreshed. All right, I got some other ones. Let me see here. Nine Fig says the def method definitely works. Commodities Beat says 100, mind blown. This is straight game. Thank you. I can't believe it took me so long for me to join. Well, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. Mr. 100 said definitely a 10. I always knew a lot, but I went to having 30 followers to having over a thousand by using your method. Awesome. And and I think we're publishing some of your music right now, or we already did. I know I've seen it. So I know you either already got published or you're about to, because I saw I saw the 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 order come in. So I think we're working on it right now for you. Uh, Steven says, thanks, Christine. I checked in with you for the one time and I loved your energy, your story, and all of your information. And I really tried it with the followers and it definitely worked. Good. I'm glad that you guys are applying this right away, right? That's what's great about this. Amazing. And by the way, Belgium chocolate is the best. Awesome. And by the way, today is 10 out of 10. Hey, I will take the chocolate. If y'all are going to send chocolate, I will take it. I will never turn that down. Um, I mean, it says I rate the webinar at eight. I really loved how Christine explained everything in depth and her personality is so fun. Yay. I'm new in the music game, but I feel very inspired and ready to work. Awesome. Nine Fig said, I love this webinar because it was so laid back and down to earth. And also I've been clarified on a lot of methods that I have been doing, but wasn't sure about. And all the things we went through were very mind opening and inspiring. Previously, I bought the independent artist program, but I haven't been able to go through it, but I believe it'll be a great blessing and a very good use. Awesome. Zarina, attend for your webinar. It works. I already have 12 followers with our method under a minute. That's cool. 12 followers a minute. I got to take pictures of these, uh, these uh, comments and post it, right? Uh, Stardord said 10. I didn't realize you had to realize you had to design your profile a certain way before trying the follow unfollow method. I started redesigning my profile while on the call. Webinar was great. Thanks a lot for the info. Yes, that's a big part of it. Rob Dzatsu, Zatu said, I'd say today was a 10. The way you explained the IG hacking took out, out a lot of my fear. I'm actually setting up my 12 photos and I'm ready to get it in. Hell yeah. Love Periel said 10 because you made everything easy to understand and you made the membership affordable for people just starting out. Awesome. Axon said eight out of 10 for the webinar. First impressions counts. Um, Official TVC said, I give it a 10. Love the insight and tips. Definitely invested and plan on seeing results soon. Rich Pesos said, I rate this course a 10. I've learned so much from each webinar and gained so much value in this short amount of time. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I think that might be all of them. Let me see. Big takeaways. Already following. Let me refresh it one more time. And then I will pick a winner. Hold on one second. Oh, we had quite a few comments, actually. We got a few more. Do one more. Sakura says, I'll take chocolate, too, or tortillas. Hey, either one works, right? Uh, let's see here. Arnaud, you commented. Thank you so much. You're already a member. Uh, M. Sood said, this is a webinar I've been searching for. For the first time, I feel someone is telling the truth about their passions. Rated score, infinity. Hey, that's a good compliment. I feel like my life will change dramatically. I can see it. Thank you, Christine. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I love all this. I love reading these comments. All right, perfect. So I am going to, let me see how many uh, comments are here. And I'm going to pick a random person. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or actually, I can just see how many there are, right? Hold on one second. I'm going to pick one person. I needed like the whole drum roll thing here. 34. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. You guys can see my screen, right? Okay. And by the way, if you, if I'll do this really quick and then I'll give you guys the link one more time because I know someone else was asking. Um, Alex Holmes, we did publish your music. Awesome. Okay. I thought so. Uh, SDBG says awesome. 10. Uh, Willie, it's not Facebook, Willie. It's Instagram. 
so it was Instagram that we were, it was uh, at Christine Morell is where you were going to post, but I'm already going to pick a winner right now. So just because we got to move on, because I know people have been on here for three hours already. I appreciate you guys. How cool is that? So I'm going to go to this random number generator, right? I'm going to go one to 34 because there were 34 comments. If, if um, these are for new members, okay? So if you're already a member, it, it doesn't apply for you. These are for new people who have never come to the webinar before, okay? So let's generate here. We got, we got three. I think there's already a member there. So I'm gonna put, hold on one second. All right, cool. So on the top comments, number three is Amina Chan. So Amina, you said you rate the webinar eight. You really loved how Christine explained everything in depth and her personality is so fun. I'm new in the music game, but I feel very inspired and ready to work. So you are the winner. So I'm gonna like your comment and I'm gonna send you a text. And I'm going to tell you to send me your email. You won. Congratulations. I'm going to just say, send me your email and I'll get you set up. Okay. Perfect. So all you got to do is just respond. If you're still on the webinar, respond. And then we'll, uh, we'll get you all set up. And then you can come to our very first meeting on Monday. Um, is that you, Kara? You said, oh my God, I never win anything. I'm so excited. Hey, well, you won today. And by the way, I do a lot of these. I don't know if you guys are following me, but I, I gave away a recording studio in January. I gave away another recording studio in February. I gave away a really nice microphone in March. I'm about to give something else away in a week. You guys just haven't gotten the emails yet. I haven't decided what I want to give away. I don't know if I want to give away another recording studio or maybe some press, you know, get people on you know, some TV networks or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I always give these away once a month. I give away cool stuff. I give away memberships. I give away all kinds of cool stuff. So um, congratulations. Just hit me up here um, and then we'll get you all set up. So I want to thank you guys. I'll just show you guys one more time. If you're wanting to register, there it is, musichusterlive.com backslash register. It's only $27 a month or $97 for the year. 30-day um, money back guarantee. Come try it out. Come join me. This is fun. It's a really fun uh, time, and and you know there's no risk here. You get lots of cool resources. Uh, like I said, just lots of cool opportunities that I I share with all of you. And um, I think I just want to thank you guys because I know this is really long, three hours. I'm just really um excited that you guys stuck around. Apply these methods, right? Apply these methods. Do what I share with you today. I'm gonna send out the replay. So if you missed it. If you only reach the end, don't do all that. You need the first two steps first for you to get really big um, results. So make sure to watch the entire replay so that you know exactly the methods to follow. So many of you guys tried this method while we were on the Zoom call today and you guys got followers right away. Someone said they got 12 followers within the first minute, which is awesome. So uh, make sure to uh, apply those things. Or not says congrats. Alexander says, congrats. Thank you, Mrs. Teacher. Yeah, I'll take it. See you all on Monday. Can't wait. Good night. Awesome, guys. So make sure to apply, apply, apply. I can teach you all these things. If you don't apply it, you're not going to see results. For those of you who signed up, make sure to join the Facebook group. You should receive an email that tells you exactly how to log in. It'll give you your name and your password. If for any reason you have any trouble signing in, DM me on Instagram. We'll get you taken care of. Okay, we'll make sure to take care of you so that you can get all signed up. And our next meeting is on Monday, every Monday. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Or not, you're going to say, you say, I'll see you on Monday. David says, thank you. Thank you, David. And I hope that this all helps you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, have a great day, everyone.